It's already dog shit. Let's hope it doesn't manage to spiral even worse out of control. But let's see. All right, so I think we're gonna just go towards the main story because we need we're apparently everything ever. <clears throat> um, special tools, so it would just work better if I went towards the main story and did side stuff on the way. And then we did a big cleanup at the end if I'm feeling you know what we need? up for it. That is the plan I'm planning on feeling up for it. Uh the whole thing's just wild, man. I would say that everybody and their brother thinks it should, even a lot of Russians, but... <clears throat> if it doesn't stop it, then who cares, right? I think that's one, uh... One interesting thing about nowadays that they didn't have back then is uh, the internet, right? There's a stuff I feel like with the Cold War and all that, because you're not able to talk to people globally or people from you know, the other side or something. Um, there's a bit more of like a fear mongering that can happen. But now it's like, I'm I'm watching. I was watching Russian streamers yesterday play some hackers. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like you just know that it's like like luckily not like everybody out there. Like I don't think people. Well, some people probably do, but have that misconception that like everybody's a certain way anymore. Good. Well, I mean, the people do, but I don't. Know. Point is, I think internet's and globalization and stuff is is good to help prevent stuff like. This in the long run. Obviously you still get fucking psychos. I just think being able to communicate quickly, long distances and with all sorts of different people is like I don't think that could ever end up really bad. Compared to ooh, there's some kind of evil boogeyman out there, we don't know what they're doing, and then it's easy to do propaganda and all that shit. I mean, not that they don't probably try to do some kind of cyber propaganda stuff nowadays, but it's a lot harder. Anyways. Not that things are going good, obviously, but... <clears throat> that we can even see there's protests in Russia right now and stuff is a lot more than back in the day. Focus shot or the double shot.
Try to get more actual abilities. Instead of just stuff. East. We need to get a charger. Might have turned down the game too much last night. One sec. Fog here. There's a volumetric lighting that it works. This looks really nice. It's a great looking game. And while it's not the most creative artistically, the little things they do do and the use of color and some of the effects, man, are still impressive. This is on stock PS4, so. Cannot fault the game on the visuals, man. You just can't. I was watching a video where they zoomed in, she has little hairs in her ears and cause her ears to have the translucent effect of light through skin. Does it? That's cool. I mean, I gotta applaud them on the technical side of things. Should that money probably go to something a bit more ambitious? You can make that argument for sure, but I mean, hey, it's there, so... It's probably more of an easy, objective thing to hire people to do something that Creativity is not as easy to do. Copy and realism is hard, but at least you have the ultimate goal, right? Visible goal. <laughs> you know exactly what needs to be done. God, what is this? Another thing we can't get. I really need to just gun it for the main story. But yeah, it's on a technical level very impressive. Great looking game. Be cool to see probably on PS5. The graphics are your main uh your main thing. That's what you care about the most and clearly what they've put the most effort into then yeah. definitely the way to play it but I've uh, been pleased I, I thought the ps4 version would be way more fucked I ain't having to spam this thing I want to be shooting birds, but you go so fast on this fucking map, dude. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, and I mean, it's to be expected of first party. If anything needs to run well, it's... Probably something from a second party studio. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, engine optimization is hard, man. <clears throat> I definitely wish everything ran better, but... And it should. <laughs> Disco Elysium shouldn't run like sh shit. <laughs> that, that one was... Pretty fucking surprising. Like, Jesus, there's not much to happen in that, but... Yep. I mean, if anything's gonna run well, it's first party though. They literally have Sony there to like do everything for them and optimize. But I wish that, yeah, happened with everything. Oh, that's fucking wonky ass hit. Attacks, man. These fights move around so much, it's like, I'm gonna fucking forget what the fucking loot even is, dude. I'm so tired of aiming with the controller, dude. It's so bad, especially because I just put a fucking FPS on mouse and keyboard. These fucking shitty console companies need to fucking allow mouse and keyboard on fucking their goddamn uh, fucking consoles, man. It's just so much extra effort, man, to get like half the result. The only way you could even realistically get close is to use an insane amount of fucking uh, slow mo. Stuff for the stash. Oh, don't get me wrong; it's still rewarding enough to land your shots, but. <clears throat> I don't know, man. Play enough uh, shooters with mouse and keyboard, and after a while, you're just kind of like. It's hard to, when you're shooting in any game, to not really kind of think about how much better it would be if you had better control. Like I said, I think there's games that make use of different control schemes or have less of a focus on pinpoint shooting, like Splatoon maybe, um, where it's not like a big deal. It's always good to have extra. And that makes good use of gyro, which is nice. The gyro's not very comfy. <laughs> it sure works a lot better than stick shooting, man. I, 
I just have a super hard on for being able to do all the many crazy little plays as I want and having maximum controls. Kind of goes hand in hand with that. You don't want to be limited by something like hardware. You want to be limited by like what you can even pull off. What you can think of. That works. What's in here? is a uh... is that their first like big 3d engine it looks like this was a Karja fort is it just yeah, one of their phone they engines like the Karja army back to board it over or do they like play use it like unity or something or what? Lines from a metal flower it doesn't look like it's blocking the way up though Dude, this metal flower shit. Every area is getting blocked by some fucking stupid ass lock and key main story shit. It is Unity. Unity usually has issues. Most people. wood here. Something heavy might break it down. Put it in some effort. Nothing for my pole caster to latch on to. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'd imagine. I mean, that much money, you would imagine that they could probably fix it up by now, but. It makes sense at the beginning when they weren't really. Big money yet? They probably release an unoptimized game. What am I doing with this thing? This architecture's nice. Making it up a bit, god. This stuff looks to knock. Oh, there's nothing useful. Nothing useful. Jump off of this rope. No. <clears throat> so I doubt this was the intended way out, but who knows? That was it. Eagle vision, dude. I should, huh? Okay. Fell down. 
I'm gonna spend 10 fucking hours getting back up. The game has a glider, but it has no really great ways of climbing anything. environmental thing I've seen is the giant hurricane thing in the sky. No tornadoes yet. Now we've barely gone anywhere. This is all right here past this point on the left is all I've done in the, the bigger bits. The only thing I've seen is the giant uh, eye of the, the hurricane deal in the sky. Once Calling. I'm hoping there's some cool weather shit. Oh, was it? Yeah, I haven't been to the desert yet. Hopefully that's coming. Take a picture that doesn't involve me going through all the PSN bullshit. When I'm full screen projecting the wrong shit every time. We'll come back when I can actually explore it. We're being held back by the story as usual. Steady. This game's got a bit too much um, limitations from story items. I think it hurts the exploration. It's like a bad Metroidvania where like they put almost all of the 
the uh, interesting stuff you want to explore. Or every little side thing you come across you can't actually get because you need like X and Y items. Like, I want to go somewhere and be like, oh yes, I could probably do something, but instead it's been like, oh, this is blocked, this is blocked, this is blocked, this is blocked. There's almost nothing that isn't a raw side quest that isn't blocked. I wish there was some of the sweat. I'll, uh... That's not... Ring with them. You told me they were the best delving crew in the claim. Yeah, you told me we'd be drowning in artifacts. Well, I found this, didn't I? It's a tray. By the sun, man! Not even the most accomplished crafters of Meridian could pull off such symmetry. I wonder what the old ones served on it. Appetizers? Seafood? It's a tray! Who are you? Rushavid. You wouldn't recognize the son if it hit you in the face. This is the savior of Meridian, the one who sees God, the God, I hate sea. every character in this, man. You've come for them, haven't you? They're all so fucking uh, annoying. The relics. The lake is full of them. Something big happened here in ancient times. You mind if I take a look? <laughs> That's a lot of data. Yeah, everybody's way over the top and quirky. Should we be sending for a healer? Whatever this is, it all points to something called a mobile cover system. Oh! You mean a cover for the tray? No. More like something that could come handy in a fight. Where did you find this? <coughs> uh, the dig site, uh, which is now crawling with machines. And unless they magically disappear, we are leaving! Uh, the don't boom you want to find check. out what actually oh happened God. here? I actually, like, I wish there's just no dialogue, man. Like I was having a, you know, at least we were exploring just now, but, but it's like as soon as I get into these fucking annoying ass NPCs, it just drops, man. Where's this dig site? Seems like the best place to start if I'm gonna follow up on this mobile cover system. Maybe I can figure out what actually happened here. The site is just behind us, up the lake to the west. I knew it was no coincidence our paths crossed, Savior. Imagine what stories you'll bring us once you search the lake with your second sight. Hopefully just the truth. The sun has truly shined upon us this day. Level 22. Done. Benito. It works, sir. Holy Kena. <laughs> I can get it for my stash later. Oh, yeah, man. Razor circuit. Razor circulator. No yeah, I'm looking forward to playing it myself. Sounds quite good. Grazers. Are any other grazers kind of around here? Just what we need. A reason to stay in this. It wasn't sure it was long. 
long but like a little rushed or whatever. Maybe not rush, but <laughs> less gameplay you're saying. all story I'm guessing that'd be the most important part for them ah uh, condensed <whistles> so how long do you think it ran you it seemed like it was pretty meaty Girls and shit just disappear fucking instantly, man. That's why I'll never upgrade my fucking pack unless people give me shit. You have to pretty much be running around constantly spamming the button. I'm fucking tired of this fucking... Fucking... Fridge, dude. Light is worse here. If I don't find a Gaia backup, it'll be like this everywhere. Next, man. Parasite Eve, dude. Good call. Comfy RPG time. You could beat me to Skies of Arcadia, dude. That's Dreamcast. Well, it's on GameCube, it's the one you'd play, but it's the same era. Do you know Gears is around that? It's some kind of drone. Is it watching over this area? Data. Oh, the book thing. True, true. Right, how to get up there? Oh, I hate the smell of light. I hate the smell of light. Oh, fucking shit! It's called blight. It's not called fucking. <laughs> I don't even know why you just fucking say. <coughs> nice, dude. Other blocks pass. Sick and nasty. Maybe I can climb something and jump onto the drone. Nope. Another day. Blocked again. I'm pretty tired of getting blocked in this game. Definitely need to just focus in on story. So we get in here. Do you need to play the first one or anything? Gotta keep it around, buddy. Stash this away for later. I might still do it. We'll see. Ya. 
That sounds good. Yeah, I've been wanting a PS1, PS2 era uh, JRPG for a while. I've been wanting to do one. Just haven't really like had a had a moment. Damn, there's a lot of stuff that's just in the floor, dude. Focus. Why why have so many things blocked and makes the exploration rancid? Come back later. Some auto aiming, but sometimes it just doesn't kick in. It's inconsistent. with fucking helmets that are like god mode. Yeah, we'll see when I get into that kind of backlog though, man. I'd like to, but I mean, all the rings come in and then who knows what else. Have you decided if you're gonna do Monarch? Or you decide to not bother him? I'm on the fence until I hear some more opinions on it, really. Not playing it? Uh, I'm, I'm probably in that camp. There's a lot to play, JRPG wise, and. Yeah. Like, if the story stuff's interesting, that's cool, but I could just play something that is good all around, so... We one thing it was like a five hour game, but it's not. That room on me. I can send it to my stash. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably in the same boat there.
I need a circulator. Any more grazers? Apparently, still didn't get the circulator. I have to leave and come back, probably. <clears throat> How was the combat by the end? Stuff from that era just hits a little different, man. Maybe it's just the... <laughs> just the times, or... technology that people are willing to take a bit more crazy chance of the story and shit, who knows, but I'm, I'm excited. All I have to work off of is Zuna Blade, which has some crazy stuff, but I wouldn't call it insane um, on the themes or anything, man. Right? Did the job, though. As long as I didn't get in the way. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna play it before or after Xena Saga, but it's definitely high on the list. Hell, even higher now that you've been talking about it. Getting pretty excited. Busy filling up the canisters on their backs.
got the circulator. So 20 kills. Time for a PS1 game. Good, good. So, is the book really long? I mean, I imagine it's gotta be pretty. relatively significant if it goes over the whole story, unless it's in brief. 300 pages, whoa. I guess, yeah, that would probably be most of the story, huh? Whoa! Be welcome, Outlander. Guy's face is missing. Okay. Yeah. Has it been retranslated or do you know? Tell your friends where you bought it. Nothing interesting. Translated? Hmm. Shame man. That'd be cool. Look, I'm not gonna just go kill random shit unless I actually need the stuff from them just to save myself some, some time. The sun has truly shined upon us this day. So a few workbenches, man. Oh, I haven't found any of these cauldrons yet. I can't believe how much shit they just blocked me off of. I would say like at least a third, maybe even half of the stuff on here is blocked. Ridiculous one. Sure what they were thinking, dude. Nothing stifles exploration like hard blocks, like lock and key type of block.
Peace. I don't know what overdraw is. Concentration up sign. Weapons you won't find anywhere. <clears throat> <clears throat> Come on then. All right, towards the story. Smartest play. We'll stop by shit on the way. We do story, we'll get more items to allow us to explore things. And worst case, hey, I'll be closer to the end of the game if I don't feel like doing all the side. It's better to do it. They're they're cutting us off so much. An old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. Looks like this door is locked. Okay, we'll meet. Maybe there's another way in. Meets for losers, dude. I just... I eat air, man. In pain. Give me the good mats. Yeah, you can move even faster if you just... Keep spamming accelerate. That's nice. A lot of crows with a lot of crow meat. Thank you. 
ammunition lock. Last thing I need is a machine stomping around in there. You're just gonna accept all of this? Turn back, Outlander. Stone's echo is for Utaru only. Nice Whoops, like. That's another story required area. <laughs> I fucking love it, dude. This is what I mean. This game has like not only the just the base mechanics are really great for the feeling of adventure. Okay, this mount won't move anymore. It's stuck. This mount cannot enter location. There we go. But on top of already having like you know, because I mean, clicking stuff on the map and following just guidance is not very adventure. -y. You're not looking into the environment. You're not visually wanting to go explore something but on top of that every time you do actually just go to something to see what it is you get shut down whether it's an npc a hundred different abilities you don't have it's just lame dude. like well let me get immersed and just romp around this you know crazy world like oh just kidding I should rest up. Wait for the convoy. The convoy. It's here. Is it? A single trap laid on it. I can't override that machine. So I could learn if there's a cauldron out here. Guy's not coming. I need to go over there. I need to take down that shot walker for Laren to salvage. There's only one shot walker. and jump across the map there. <laughs> Oops. How many hits is this fucking shield gonna take, dude? I break off of him. His lightning gun. 
An antenna, the power generator, the shield. It takes 10 fucking years to break off, man. What in the fuck, dude? I hate these fucking, like, really jumpy ass enemies. <laughs> fucking launch like 20 miles of crazy tracking every time they attack. I just need to wait them out at his camp. Might be a good idea to place some traps on the road first. Yeah. Clearly not, because they don't actually come down all this way. Convoy, it's here. Unless you want to wait your entire fucking life for him, dude. Actual just massive waste of time. I need to take down that shellwalker for Laren to salvage. There's only one shellwalker with him. I need to take it down. I sound scared, dude. I should salvage what I can and leave the plane for Larry's crew. Very interesting there. I didn't even get the claw. Materials back instead of the whole trap. How many tiles? I've climbed quite a few towers, but uh, Ubisoft towers just one so far. But there's still another six or so on the map. Big hurricane thing about me. Which is cool. 
I like the weather stuff. Definitely adds a lot more uh, fantasy, you know, sci-fi thing instead of just always hyper-realism with robots attached to it. Not that there's been that much weather shit, but in theory, nothing that's actually affected the gameplay yet. I'll turn this in. Did you start your game today, man? You're not streaming it yet? You have to steal yourself for the uh, voice acting supreme. Huntress, you're back. I took down that shell walker for you. Fonda, Rendor, uh, gotcha. we got a pickup. For our contract, here's your payment. This will definitely help me make some great armor. But? Well, I realized an armor made out of shell walker plating's good, but with just a few minor additions, it could be so much better. If you'd be willing to take on a few more contracts. What do you say? What else do you need for your armor? Alarm antennas. Strong, supple. I could use them to make my armor more flexible. We picked out a herd of scroungers already. I'll, uh, read through the contract. See what I can do. Best of luck! She's so awkward all the time. It's like the... She acts... Okay, so every single character is really fucking quirky and silly. I think her writing is supposed to, like recognize that but it's supposed to be like fun nobody thought after every single character being quirky and her reacting the exact same way to every like bizarre quirky character that maybe they should have done something else at some point tell me more about these contracts of yours i was thinking scrabber jaws are powerful i could use them to strengthen my armor crew spotted a pack of them not far from here primed for salvage i guess i can give the contract a look Fantastic. I like she's being like held under gunpoint every time she has to talk. That fucking hell, man. Good call. I know I can make a perfect armor. I just need the right part. Okay.
Alright, let's get that main story continued. Um, start a fire here. We're kind of just focusing on the main story and kind of dabbling inside stuff as we go. Because every single side thing I do is blocked off by some kind of story progression item. Which is kind of a buzzkill for an exploration game, so. We'll do the exploration after a bit of story. Or we'll do heavy exploration after a bit of story. And really, maybe we'll end up in a lot of those places just from side quests. We'll see. off of these brothers man power cells on the back <laughs> Things horrible, man. <laughs> now, if it can be used as an escape, and it's not really that actually useful for a stealth thing, then what is it for? Like the guy just clearly sees me, you know. Switch it out for something else at some point here. So, which is in the air, just hovering. My radar gone, there you go. Find us in my stash later. I guess that's what we'd really want. Just 
exploding here, dude. I'm bugged out. Nice. Very nice. Extremely nice. <laughs> Mr. Kangaroo. Close to the locator beacon that my focus detected. My focus is detecting some kind of locator beacon. The black box. Is there a Hot bunch door. of these? I should be able to pry it open. Good, I don't need an item for it. It's two feet away from the store. You'd hope they'd at least have the things this close to the store is achievable. Man. We're trying to survive. This Pharaoh's machine swept the planet of life. All those people lost. One man's ego. There's another locator beacon on the same frequency. Talking about Willis. Where's the pigeons I find, man? I need to find the hot shit. Clearing out post, right? Oh, rebels. If I leave them be, they'll cause nothing but trouble. It's a classic know. open world thing. <laughs> Clearing camps, dude. Leave. Wonderful. 
Is there like small chance that I won't exactly hit the center from this far away? So I hit him right in the fucking armor. And then I just didn't have the shot after that. Actually, stealth shoot people easier. And they're like fucking helmets. It takes like 20 hits to fucking break. the map there. <laughs> Headshots enough, dude. Stats, stats, stats. Numbers, Mason. We need more numbers. to like wait for the whole animation for it to grab onto the, the edge and then climb up and all that. Be nice if you could just smoothly get up. It's about to get loud. <laughs> Fucking teleporty combat man. It's so unsatisfying. <laughs> Teleport behind you, and the enemy does it too. And I guess that lets them have Rebels are stripping corruptors for parts. crazy ass animations. That's the idea, I imagine. Corruptors. Looks like they've been stripped for parts. Yeah, that's what you said a hundred times now. A locked chest. Good thing I found a key. Yeah, I mean, I know. I remember the key. It feels like it just has like zero faith in the player, man. Everybody has to like re-explain every little thing going on in the story. She has to like backseat you on puzzles. Hell, even when you pick up a key, they have to like remind you you just grabbed a key so you know that that's what it was for. To feel special about having gotten it in the first place. Any more trouble? 
Goose. Pigeon. Right. Just meat. Did it just disappear when I killed it? Because I killed it over a piece of wood? Oh, that was it right there. Maybe it got farther away than I thought. Just what crow me, dude. Oog. Coordinate silence gave me match that wreckage. Did he install Hades on another Titan? I barely remember what the fuck a Titan is. <laughs> this might as well be might as well be all alien to me, man. Uh, clearly the first story did not leave much of an impression because I do not know what the fuck she's talking about half the time. When she's referring to the first game. of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. The workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place silence would slink away to. But what was he doing here? That device is blinking. Wants me to check it out. Not right now. I'm gonna wait for her to talk. Okay. Aloy, consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing wall from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we discussed. About the mysterious signal that gave you life. He thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. I guess uh, some kind of log. Most of it's redacted. It looks like Silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. Redacted. Some kind of red crystal. Uh, more shit we can't do. So 
Here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it? And now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self-righteous bull. That's great, man. Thanks for your fucking... <laughs> Thanks for your thoughts there, man. Frost Glint Hawk. Detachable face. This will be in my stash when I need it. We need all that. Silence must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but how? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? Shock ammo would come in handy. Thanks for that. Good advice. My focus is detecting some kind of locator beacon. Oh, oh there! What's an aura doing this far west? Like whispering herself right in front of him. I can get you stocked up for the wild. Just following this road, a bazillion miles away. Alrighty.
can get data to override machines from cauldrons. Just need to find one. Well, we don't need to fuck with these guys. music I feel like I've heard that like millions of times in other ruin. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Stuff like Assassin's Creed and shit. Machine to haul his prize. Be the orb silence stuck Hades in. And that door. It looks like a pharaoh facility. Or a zero dawn. Come on, Hades. You still in there? You're a threat to Gaia. Once I resurrect her. So you have not yet secured Gaia back up. <sighs> then Gaia is dead. Earth and him too. Despite malfunctions, I have won. Okay. Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia. easy. What did silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. And what did you tell him? Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. You don't remember any of it? What, like, me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Who knows where doing who knows what? Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there cooking up trouble? It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? Sarcasm detected. Yeah, didn't think so. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? 
Masters hook me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? Data error. <sighs> Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can? Restore, guile, save life on Earth. Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are deluded. Extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact. Non-viable biospheres aborted in years 254-216-1-2168. Music getting so, louder. That's centuries ago. A drama. It's what you were designed to do. Need to be. I'm saving this one. Master Override Arms. Resident, state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Bridging extinction protocol. Even the AI is annoying, dude. It just keeps talking. <laughs> you mad, bro? Aloy. I see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes, trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face-to-face? -face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... I'm using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing. But he is. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. Care to share? In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a super-intelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah. The same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... 
Now, the details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Guy is safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. Just to... confirm? Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. Or were, anyway. A thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of the Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Ted. Data complete. Gaia I'm give him the most. Functions. <laughs> A modern day name, Everything right? Everything needed to reboot the system. Just to remind you that he's not from this time period. Just Ted. Must have been fucking Bob. There. Billy. So, said. so what are you waiting for? You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach to knock the rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts. Aloy. The only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. That's not exactly a denial, Silence. Take it any way you want. All those are just useless. It's nothing, right. though. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy. Damn, hardcore, Thanks man. To me, everything you desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Uh, <laughs> I love the writing. The writing in this game feels like it was written by like a five-year-old. Dude. It's just a bunch of people angrily lashing out at each other and trying to one-up each other. I did this and that. No, you suck. No, you suck. I'm gonna fucking murder you. <laughs> or they're really quirky and silly. I know that shit is so fucking. I know you didn't learn shit, much about dude. manners growing up a Nora outcast, but in a situation like this, you say thank you. And I say, you're welcome. Destroyed. Lance Reddick destroying this girl, man. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Soba. Please step inside. Please step inside. Please step inside. Are you kidding me? Hmm. I think we're in luck. In luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them Fire Gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some of the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a deep lasher's power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindle weed. Just need to get the parts. Okay. Those machines should have the parts I need for the igniter. I should scan one of them. My focus can show me where the part is. On their ass, man. There's the power cell. I can tag it in my focus display.
Well, those are like 10 mile long attacks that cover fucking like massive fucking range so they don't have radius. Sure looks cool, but there goes the part. That's why this move's horrible. The enemies just fucking like rarely sit still long enough for it. And it works there, but it's the first time I'd rather have something else. Okay, got the parts for the igniter. Now I just need to build this thing. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. From your time tinkering with Hades? Tinkering? More like extracting available data. Rat. Like, they're so petty, they just fucking argue back and forth with <laughs> just words that are like semantics and little petty fucking arguments. What the hell? My mouse up there. I didn't just put it in the second spot, they like push everything over. I was like, just as soon as on the second one for some fucking reason. Alright, what do we got here? Mellow back. There. I should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. All I do is just press R on it. I can even like fun about it. It's just raw. Press R to open. Finally, I think I'm in. Straight up lock and key. Dude. But I could use this igniter if I find more places with fire gleam. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. Place is flooded. And there's another gene locked door on the other side. But that's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. All right. Money. Ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Oh no, I accidentally cut off the annoying dialogue. No. Are you jumping between these? Tester can't reach. Hmm. My pullcaster might come in handy here. 
Really? Thanks. Tell me more. My brain doesn't work very well. I need some help. Good idea to drop that ladder. Really? Holy fuck, man. They have absolutely zero faith in the people playing this game, man. <laughs> like, just make it pop and then I can make my own decision. Because then it's, I mean, it's, you know, then you feel like you're making nice little calls maybe here and they're like, oh, I better hit this because I need to come back up. Or, like, oh, I saw the thing, I recognized the symbol, I can pull it, and you know, you feel a little bit okay, but when somebody just tells you every step of the way, it's like, it's like back feet or something, there. Yeah. Nothing fun about it. It's not a huge deal, but it's definitely like, like a lie. supposed to get higher up from over here not, not what I'm after do not press X Locked. there's some kind of it looks like this connects to the door but it needs power An energy cell please tell me to put it at the oh they already put a waypoint on it she doesn't need to say it because it just fucking shows you. that did it just following instructions, dude. No need to actually let me look around and figure things out or immerse in any way. Bug. You're dead now, bug man. What's above me? Who says that? What's above me, dude? <laughs> Like you weren't gonna just check there at some point, right? Alright, looks like we need to bring another one of those wheels down. That's not gonna budge from here. Another console that needs power. This looks like the same device from the other room. Maybe I can use the energy cell here. This console shut down. Don't want to take out here. I don't like it. I'll just jump up there. Guess we're not supposed to push from there. Just press R2 to open the fucking door. This isn't even the only one. We're just gonna keep doing what I said we were doing earlier. Just follow the story. Until we get like our all of our little locks and keys is figured out. And then maybe we'll do everything else. I mean, I'll do side stuff on the way, but I'm not gonna, like, divert. I like how they had to tell you to come back here and get this power cell, too, like, to reuse it. It's not just, like, a classic video game puzzle. Well, 
Elizabeth and Travis Tate. Travis Tate. Oh boy! I tell you, Liz, what I just done gonna make you love me. Hear me out. I'm I listening. just imagine them far zenith rap scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. Oh, little man. You, little me. Holy shit. To deliver our message of that would make sense. They're both not very good. Like. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and Both me in a post-apocalyptic world. Well, they must be in the same universe, dude. Pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. They just fit. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, a paragon, damn near saint, could love this world so damn much, but no one in it? I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Are they gonna really? There, there's parallels going on here that they're trying to make happen. Because Aloy is uh, not exactly being super awesome to her friends. Although it's completely understandable and they're just kind of being bitchy. Were they gonna like parallel her and her progenitor here or whatever the fuck? Woohoo, we need to learn to have friendship. <laughs> the game of the year. Which would be fine if they executed it right, I guess, but so far I'm not feeling that. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mama's grave. And she was religious. Travis was wrong. What? Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. Okay. Really? Very nice. Dude. Consistent. Here we were hoping that uh, you'd get a better representation of the story. But alas. Ancient trunk. What do we have here? another panel up there that I should be able to pull open. I'll have to climb higher to reach it. Right. Don't think my pole caster can latch onto that from here. I'm gonna have to jump. She says we're already there. Like, it's so useless, man. Why do you even have all this insane, like, just backseat kind of dialogue when it's just fucking nothing? Oh, I can't dude. make that jump. <laughs> but if I glide. Holy fuck, man. I, I mean, I guess we hadn't been doing that much main story in a while. They really crank up the fucking backseat. <laughs> Every single step of the way, she's telling us what to do, man. Like, it's enough that there's already a waypoint showing us, dude. the door from here. 
Chilling on the fucking ladder. I was gonna knock it down and I jumped back, but I forgot to. I'll get my kit dry at least. Level <laughs> Zelda, it's just this, yeah. I knocked down some ladders. <laughs> With that horrible English V8, dude. Oh my god, that'd be the worst thing ever, man. Did not mean to fall back there. Breath of the Wild's not linear enough to even have that kind of advice. It'd have to be this just like filler version of all that advice everywhere. I could see it happening though. That'd be funny. Can I make this? A rush of air. Yeah. I'll have him in the dungeons. And yeah, there you go. Perfect. No, if you do not no, no, bring back Phi, dude. Phi was essentially this, but in uh, assistant form. And fucking uh, Skyward Sword. It was one of the worst parts about the game was this shit. Just insane amount of hand holding. At least Navi didn't like force talk to you, right? If I would like open up every room with like a fucking minute long thing telling you about what the hell's going on in the room, it felt like. Wait a minute, that torch. You can grab objects from far away with the boomerang. I see an object There's more of the facility in this room. There. Maybe I should use I the boomerang. Be able to glide over. Yeah, I'm fucking well aware at this point. I mean, really, if they just had the visuals pop a bit more, they wouldn't even. I mean, they don't need to tell you in the first place. But if they're worried that everything just fucking like melds into stuff and gets lost in the details, which it does sometimes, then like just make shit pop more, man. I mean, you can fucking design it however you want. Like, this pops. But if they think, like, you can't see over to the other side or some crazy shit, like, just put some lights on the fucking, like, side of the rails or something. What's in here? Yeah, which was like a lot of other games, right? You wait around long enough and they tend to say something. Like Uncharted did that. And that was still too handled, yeah. From Travis Tate. Or you could press like a button. This place turned out a lot of malware before Zero Dawn took over. Looks like this is connected to the door. He needs a code to open. I've got to actually read one of these. Another locked door. What's that console next to it? What's that console next to it? <laughs> the one we're on? It's like one of, it's a fucking really small room, dude. There we go. There's very little happening in it. That is already, you have the ability to light up everything like a fucking Christmas tree. That is important. Do I really need her to tell me every two seconds where to go? Like, look, if it's supposed to be, like, immersive, like, I'm, I'm being still attached to the narrative because she's talking all the time, it's not. 
You might think this kind of shit in your mind, but like... Unless you got a problem, you're not fucking saying this much random ass shit out loud. And you wouldn't run or write a character like this, because it's not... It's just kind of annoying, man. Maybe occasionally they might have something so you can kind of get inside their mind, right? But usually pertaining more to the story or what's going on or the area, how they're feeling. When they don't have someone to talk to. Like to write more dialogue and that makes your character have more personality. Ally's so shit too, dude. She's so fucking just boring of a character. This is this much dialogue and she's just so nothing. Oops, wrong button there. But when I pressed L1, out of nowhere, I'm just being an idiot. We knocked down a different ladder earlier. Of course. There's fucking ladders everywhere. I should just assume there's a ladder at every single point. Maybe I need them to tell me there's ladders everywhere, man. Or just put like a fucking, like, light on them, dude. I mean, they're yellow, but they blend in like crazy, man. All the fog. Man, fog matters more than readability. <laughs> yeah, dude, they got a tip for everything, man. See, I'd rather miss something and then, like, look around and find it and then have to be fucking told that it's there, man, all the time. I'm just thinking of other games like Assassin's Creed where you press B to drop down from these si That's the thing is when you play a lot of these man, like the different fucking like muscle memories for each game Get in the way of each other because I want to press B to drop down from ledges because that's like I'm pretty sure it wasn't Assassin's Creed But you have to press X or square and that's if you press B you jump Off a ship It's a little shit like that'll happen Cause they're just so fucking similar, man, at the end of the day. That's like very easy to have your muscle memory just kind of go wonky in. I just get sick of these like auto climbing sections in these kinds of games. And there's like really not that much going on. Is there like some fucking loot over there?
Okay, so much for the flooded maze. I may like the, all the little parkour sections and all of these. Like this one, at least you get a little bit of gliding, I suppose, you can do. Which has a little bit more player control, but like... Oh, but like Uncharted, Tomb Raider... Ooh. Just like climbing rock faces with highlights on them sections. I'd rather just have actual platforming at that point. Think about where I'm going a bit and how I want to get there. Like, I suppose in this part you could miss some inputs at least. Usually it's like you literally can't fail unless you just decide to drop. That thing is huge. It looks like the power's off. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, hey, it up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable. And very heavy. Be careful. Well, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes. Get to it. The one I already hit. Thanks. Or this one. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades' backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. I need to detach the cable from the arm's coupling. Maybe I can shoot the coupling on the arm? That's what I was already trying to do. Is it on the back? It's not exactly stable. Let's hope you haven't damaged it. Yeah, well, now that it's down, I should be able to access that pod. Perfect. Print low. Ninety percent memory free. Some evil person can get the other one. Guy was a vast super intelligence. He barely expected it. No kernel. No subordinate functions. It's not a full backup. No. More like a C. Which guy's mind could grow if it had sub functions with which to form a heuristic matrix. So it's useless? I'm afraid so. Well, that sub function. Aloy, you've done all you could. For what? Nothing? Maybe saving the world is too big a task for any one person. Even you. Wait, wait, wait. It's useless without sub functions, the but world. there are sub functions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up? They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. I do. A good one. But it works. Okay, she's angry. All the fun. It was worth it. They all happen to be right out here. But it won't connect. It's close. Mountains west of Plainsong. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the sub-functions, but... One's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover Minerva. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. And when she's conscious, she helps me find the other sub-functions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Oh, God. Every 
God, he's so fucking cocky and <laughs> smug and petty and... Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek, a genetic key with which they can reboot Guy and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Aloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. Didn't we need that thing? To do everything? Oh, she's got a spare. New focus, spyware free. Okay. Think. <laughs> think, think, think. <laughs> Angry. I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. Can I find another Didn't, I like how they said there was two copies, right? There's two here. <laughs> Just so that some evil person could get it, right? This is very convenient. Like, is she not going to grab the other one? Leave it for him anyways. There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Please, step inside. Let's hope it's good in water. <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> the Avengers. The superheroes have arrived. <laughs> Looks promising. Beta. Very bad hiding spot. Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone? Something wrong? It's <sighs> all be some bosses we gotta fight. Shit! Spectres, beta! Well, any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one when it's it destroyed itself a Hail people. Mary to repair the system. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric. Yeah. Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. <sighs> but we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. Is that, is that fucking Trinity, man? <laughs> I snap a lot of necks in VR. <laughs> Getting some fucking Senator vibes from <laughs> I snap a lot of necks in VR. Used to snap necks in VR, you know. But that certain tremor. <laughs> fucking stupid. Life huh? fades from the eyes. Ooh, no hollow quite gets it. Oh, Keep he's evil. Your mouth. We know. It makes a nice target. She can you shoot. actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? Oh, the stupid suit he's got. 
This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. We were made for each other. Mr. Eric. Just gonna slowly move around. <laughs> I'm not hurting him. I need a way out of here. Don't be there. there. Now I can break the coverings holding that thing up. That's not gonna help you, girl. <laughs> you fucking rip this. Are you singing a fucking lullaby as he comes at me, man? Wow, this guy's so hardcore, man. He's singing a fucking lullaby. He snaps snacks in VR. He's got his little fucking, like, superhero suit on. Looks like he's fucking, like, 50 or 60 years old. Very cool, dude. This kills all mine. You need it. It's like them trying to make some kind of fun, quirky, like fucking Jetstream Sam character, but just failing the way. The dialogue is not there. The performances in there, they just don't even look cool. Hit me then. Hit me then. Hit me like Reckon that thing ain't gonna help, girl. New threat. Ancient Evil was just clones of the originals or cryo versions of the originals. This guy's evil, dude. If that thing comes down, it's only gonna kill you. Better than letting you have all the fun. Damn, nice facial animations. And fucking comebacks, dude. Could he not see this coming? She has to sit there while he looks at her. What was that? Me killing what you wanted dead. What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed, body went with it. Since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. These guys make Troy Baker's character from Death Stranding look good, man. It's 
Crazy. Oh, did I miss some oxygen somewhere? Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like the same thing essentially. This like dude with the southern accent that's got a fucking superiority complex. <laughs> but like Somehow he's like way more fun, even though I still think he's like pretty shit at the end of the day. He's fun to laugh at, but this is just like kind of sad to laugh at. I mean, it's it's still funny to laugh at, but on the same level. I'm pretty sure that chick was Trinity's fucking uh... Character. I'm not sure, it looked very similar to Trinity. But she doesn't do much game stuff. And again, I mean, she did do the new Matrix game thing, so could be one of those. Uh, she's stirring it up. It is her. God, is Carrie and Moss done like any game stuff outside of a few lines for like Enter the Matrix and Matrix related shit? How they file the mighty have fallen, the Matrix 4 and being in this game. Ooh. Hope she got a paycheck at least. Looks like some kind of power room. A current's lead here. Promising. Oh, she was in Mass Effect 2 and 3? Who was she? Samira or something? I'm guessing they just reused her lines for Enter the Matrix then. I don't know if like, there was new footage in Enter the Matrix with her, but I guess that was more of a movie type of thing. There's parts where she's talking to ghosts made just for the game in live action. But still, yeah, it's not much in this game. <laughs> Good thing they needed a bunch of like 80 year old people or something. Okay. 
Who's Rost? How does this guy even know? Somebody tell him. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And where drops are you? It. Clutching it when I found you in. Knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Oh, he's a boss, man. Don't fucking get in the way. Aloy, there's no time. I found something in the mountains west, west of Plains Song. Yeah, kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape to... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Well, why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs with oh, Jesus. roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. God, I hate the fucking writing this. Aloy's a fucking badass, man, but she needs to learn to trust in other people. Is that, is that the whole? Is that gonna be the whole thing, man? Is that the character arc? Otherwise, it's just some apocalypse Superman shit going on. Dentist. Right. You going to bed or staying up? I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? Why is everybody such an asshole or annoyingly quirky? Jesus. So what I'm about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. Cut some shit off and we're good, dude. That's how technology works. I still need to talk. Of course. But this way. That was really easy. Hey, Mel, you're so badass, dude. Yeah, I hate saying Halo. I just say Halo, dude. <laughs> I don't know if it's out of spite or what, but I don't fight. The mountains. West of Plainsong. Hey, Lloyd. There's trouble out there. The Utaru have trouble everywhere. 
Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fall, fuck about your another religion, of the man went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. Oh god, whatever. I will soak it in. Has trouble it. with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in, forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. Jesus, are they fucking? It's how long have they known each other? A couple days. Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in, or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all. A miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm. A blessed land, providing sustenance for my people. Until the derangement. Oh, yeah. So what happened to the land gods after the? I don't know, man. All of these different tribes in this game feel just like the same old shit. They're just like <laughs> some kind of reverence to machines, and they it feels like they're just like a slightly different coloring to them, right? Like, like oh, these ones. <sighs> Revere them as land gods, or. These people believe in some kind of sun god, or these guys in the first game believe in Gaia as the god of something, and it's all just kind of like very samey. They just her. your evil bandits. Year by year. Once they were peaceful. It'd be one now thing if we just kind of talked to them quick and that was it, but we're like sinking into the lore, us. right? They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. Must be... Over-fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even so this. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. Well, they just go get their battery recharged. I mean, the idea of like having something that we consider very normal turn into some kind of religious thing is cute. But it was cute for about five minutes in the first game. <laughs> Ten thousand tribes later, and it's—I don't really give a fuck. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside. Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave, always in the same order: Do first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Do re me. Spattered with soil from their labors. Each reappeared two days later, shining anew, without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. 
But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Far trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song. Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray heard me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, so. And without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. Yeah, there is. Stop believing in random robots as gods and actually get some shit done, dude. Whatever, man. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. Or we could just go. <laughs> She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. She's hard. And she just keeps fighting so much burden. The weight of the world, I man. I got it. She does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Why can't they're just sitting here talking openly with like a fucking straw mat? Blocking it off. Very well. Later then. So, wait. It, it's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It, it's just that I. Shh. It's been like a day. We haven't seen him for like two days. <laughs> this is out of nowhere, dude. Is that what you were trying to say? What do I care? Um, I don't even care about this character. Yes. What is this romance gonna do? Is it gonna be some skill like or death? Conversation. Uh. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> You're supposed to be resting. Laurel. You should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... No. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain sun when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Who are they? 
She's gone. I'd rather be sleeping on the dirt. Okay. Oh, he'll oh, that was a really quick fucking <laughs> Shazam on there, dude. Is that Karja Huntress? So rude. what do you want? Is there some sort of problem? The problem is foreigners. You're the second one I've seen today. This chick could use some food, dude. What the hell's wrong with our arms? Sooner you all go, the better this soil will be. Less chance of bad seeds taking root. I would have thought easing your land god's pain would have earned some goodwill around here, but... Ray is going to die anyway, just like all of us. Meanwhile, outlanders come, taking what little we have left. Just like that Karja Huntress I saw earlier. All dressed up like a bird, dragging an Untaru girl behind her like a slave. Called the girl a thrush. Never heard that before. Must be some old Karja curse. Wait. A Karja Huntress with a new Taru Thrush. What, am I talking to myself here? Yes. Saw them just today running southwest, likely to their deaths. Can't harvest the stinger fruit there. Too many machines. Poor Utaru girl. Why does everybody she have such a horrible and haircut? Her seeds find fertile soil. She has what like a like a fryer, like a bowl cut with like a fucking mullet at the same time. <laughs> and like a side shave. But you may have just helped me find an old friend. Looking horrible. Thanks. Don't need your thanks. Don't want it. Oh, another fucking awesome character, dude. Keep them coming, though. Zoe in plain song. Ask the chorus if we can go into their sacred cave. Hello. Minerva should be inside. If I can get it, I can reboot Gaia. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. But first, I might want to head southwest to find an old friend, see what she's doing out here, and maybe explore a little. Or not. How far away is southwest is this? Pretty far. Aldrin. Farther away, I guess we could go do it. Hey. Though I am gonna focus down the main story, I think, a bit more here soon. Is that the savior of Meridian? Well, I've got some news for you. Yeah, the quirky side character. Here we go. I heard there's a cauldron southwest of here, and I thought about taking a peek. But with these old legs, if any machines stumbled out, I'd be a goner. You better stay away, then. I do you know about the cauldron, man. It's on the map. Hey there, Red. The, the 
It probably has machine overrides. Like it's on the map. I see it on the map. Yes. Time to see what's in one of these, huh? I can finally do it. Okay, okay. Stop. I need to buffer it out. Rest of like three seconds ago. <laughs> Jump on your man, I guess. Well, it's a little cooler when you actually have to aim on, but you don't have that much control. I'll pull that one off. The cauldron must be the one that Oscar and Delver mentioned. Should get enough data to override some new machines. Exploring cauldrons might teach me how to override these things. Yeah, he just fucking said it. Like, not even two seconds ago. Should be able to help this one. Okay, I'm gonna kill this guy. Like two or three songs playing at once right now. It's just a loading screen. <laughs> I was hoping that, you know, we'd slide down and it'd be cool, but... Uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. You know, all the fucking... <laughs> Here we go again! The dialogue keeps getting cut off. It looks, it looks cool. to create stuff but when you let go of the create button it uses one so even if I only have like a two health so much 
should hide me for a while. Oh, I can just hang out in the steam. That's uh, got to be very comfortable. Let me fucking press R2 on shit. Bow, man. That was some fucking damage. back through a bunch of shit.
Do I say like an area loot button or like a auto loot would be good? It's not as bad when you're actually killing stuff or going and getting like a large chest or something. When you're out in the wild, you're like constantly, you spend like two, three minutes straight just looting. It really slows down the flow of the game. In these situations, like if there's less enemies and less things to grab in the first place, then yeah, no biggie, man. Thanks for telling me how to play the game as usual. Okay. And now we're down here. He just attacks off to the right and I still get hit, dude. Oh, I love it. I fucking love it, dude. Just need to be always topped off. You can just die in like two seconds in the shit, man. Doesn't even have to make sense where he's attacking. One thing I'm going to be worried about playing on hard is <clears throat> if I start skipping all the side content. 
I'm just gonna get outstatted at some point. I'm just gonna like 100 to nothing one shot at this point. When you've got more heals than you'd ever need, so you only ever have to really worry about one shot. It's just like an improved stealth is all it is. Not really like a disappearing act. Okay, thought I could grab onto that, because why wouldn't I? way more damage. I guess I might as well just slow fucking shoot with this instead. It's a lot pricier to use though, but who cares I got fucking mats. Try getting to that arm below. I don't have to try, just hold the fucking button in a direction, or the stick in a direction as auto does it. Right on those middle carriers from here. 
I made it this far. Just have to hold on a little longer. Actually, I just kind of pressed the button on my controller while I was itching my face. <laughs> and then, of course, there's the button that drops me off. I should be able to hitch a ride on this middle carriage here. Hmm. I made it this far. Just have to hold on a little longer. I'm gonna have to get off this thing soon. You're gonna tell me when? I mean, we want to get off now, but okay. I'm waiting for them to like really tell you when. Those arms can help me reach the core. See how much guidance they gave you. Close to the core. I mean, they tell you almost every step of the way what to do. It's always funny to see if there's any extra. You're an idiot, fucking dialogue. Like how you've been on the arms like 20 times already, and she's still telling you that if you get on the arms. I think I was off script there a bit. I just kind of fell down a little earlier than they want. I got on it just fine, but then she just clipped it. Ugh, it's probably like super on rails platforming, man. You try to throw a little mix into it and it just fucking breaks. Visually, this is all really nice, but gameplay-wise, it's really fucking cool. If I can make this jump, why not? Alright, we'll go all the way over, then wait until the perfect time, so that we don't clip through the fucking whole thing somehow. Right. They want you to fall right on the red and orange. Even though you could stand on everything else, only the orange is allowed to be standing on. Or stood on. stored like that. I guess it's deactivated for now. For now. There's the core. Now I just need to access it. I'll have use for these soon enough. I'm 
getting those overrides without a fight. Hippo. Husks. I want to shoot. Let's vacuum tubes, maybe. Source containers. Definitely the tusks. really fancy, but it's really annoying to hit, man. the tooth but kill him too quick if I use the sniper thing Too close. Power of suction. There, drenched.
I don't know what I was wanting, but whatever. At least we got one. And he just doesn't show his teeth that often, it takes quite a few hits. Oh, you can knock up like three. Okay, that would be the, the call. The future for those like limited opening guys. We get everything. Yes, man. Take long enough to fight out those. Find when I actually need their stuff, huh? The uh, pause menu has been lagging a lot uh, this time. Push. Over 
could try this one, although I'm not as interested, but we could we could try. We need to have the concentration be better. I need to be putting a lot into these. Okay, I was about to go to the bathroom. Oh, brother's in the shower. So, every time! I think he is. Let me see. I'll be right back either way. Got the headphone indentation. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, he's in there. All right, we'll roll for a few more minutes, and I need to hit the, the can. I wouldn't mind seeing how uh, icy it is outside. I wouldn't mind going out. The gamer dent, huh? Yeah. Classy. My hair was just like combed down more in general. It wouldn't be as noticeable, but it's all popped up everywhere else. <laughs> Super dent. Good. Whoa! Smiles. Relishing the combat. You see that, Milo? You have to wait for an opening. Care to join the hunt? Stuff is okay. I don't want to go back in there. No, I know that for sure. He's in the wrong gun. <laughs> Hop around so much, man. It'll be awesome on on mouse and keyboard, dude. I really like that. I need 
to really test your aim, but it's just more of like a, hey, how much slow mode do you got to us, you know? Controller. I mean, obviously there's still a skill to it, but it just feels like you're fighting. Mm -hmm. Something a bit more annoying. So much personality. <laughs> Fucking like actually. Nice you done. <laughs> Likewise. Come over Fucking here. Fucking jumping around, spinning like fucking. In the fucking 920 over here. Oh, we got some of the burners. Activate these traps on your own. Okay, I thought you could like walk into them and blow them up, but I guess that'd be too crazy, man. Are you all right? I don't know what happened. You let your guard down. Stomach killing me. Sunhawk Talana Kane Kadish, Aloy, despite the Nora. You're the Slayer of Redma. The savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone. A Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back, and now he's missing. So I don't remember who this is, rush. dude. Guess Once again, man. More than one now? Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Who the hell now are you? Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. But don't worry, you're still my favorite thrush. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. It's a long story, but he's a former noble. We met out in the wilds after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we, uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more to the story. Ah, uh, another time. Okay. The last time we met, you had left Meridian a lot better with that hearing the voice a actor. new machine. Several claw Maybe striders, sound. it turned out. The hunter killer, too. I need less stimuli, man. Help me get Is through it. Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't Next stand being not cooped be up with it. bureaucratic regulations well, I guess that would be, uh, and that might be a little But my time out in the wilds helped me realize... Did not feel. The lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. 
Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians. This should like help my father and brother were. Yeah, Sounds like a big challenge. I don't remember others in the lodge being so open minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out the door. And I'll get back to it. I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But... You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battle feels this way. So this battlefield, you said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but they underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone who participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but it was too late. He's been on the run ever since. And you think something went wrong for him out here? Don't worry. I'll track him down. And while he being there, you get a message back to me. So I waited, food. but it never came. That's this my thing. Is like you can just heal nonstop. Right, the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. I just feel like hard men is just like we're just gonna Looks like time and weather get one shot at it occasionally, and then have to like slowly burn through a lot of fucking of hell. Must be it's been racing. fine so far, but I'm glad we're not Let's on very hard mode. I could see that being a grind mode, or just a slog where you have to kind of play very certain ways. Maybe footprints. Maybe I'll already also. just pretty much use one bow. It's too many to tell if Amadis is with them. Because I'm always aiming to take parts off. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadis was supposed to be alone. Why were also around here? Well, at least I'm doing it by choice. It's also just like really good. Cooking fire. It looks recent. Whoever was here camped out for at least a night. A Karja weapon. The blades rusted. Got Must have been from the battle years ago. And here, babe.
Sorry about that. I'm sure we're chomping at the bit. <laughs> no action. Oh, all right. Footprints. Yeah, gamer dent covered up. Looks prints. Looks clean now, baby. Rosserum, maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with Need to have focus. a skull dent up. I need to take a bunch of roids for that. Let my fucking headset grow around my... My fucking, uh... My skull or my, uh... <laughs> my skull grow around my headset, excuse me. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. Their bonds were cut. The hobbits fled into Fangorn Forest. Maybe there's something else around here. Looks pretty abandoned. Yeah, there's a little uh, tornado. I'm gonna go walk inside of it. Our dust devil. At least something. I thought that you're just they're gonna tell you you're gonna get hurt but not actually hurt you at all. Yeah, just a little soul there. Not bad. At least it actually does something, right? Little ounce of soul found. That was it. I was hoping I'd just get whipped away, but that was alright too. Hello? Oh, there we go. An Utaru? What's he doing out here? Maybe he saw Amadis. Let's How ask him. Is? Uh, let me guess. Do not worry. I am not the card you're hitting kind. Oh, their arms just really thin because they're supposed to be malnourished. And then the other place, for some reason, they're all overweight. Like, is it just supposed to make them look different? <clears throat> well, this tribe all has really horrible. I mean, <laughs> the other place had really horrible haircuts, but these people like. They have the same bad haircuts, but they have like a like a mullet attached to the back of the same haircut. Just an old scavenger, grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. Actually, we're looking for someone, a Karja hunter. He would have been traveling alone. Clothes would have been well worn. Yes, he was here, poking around the old battlefield, wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him. Old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army charged straight into the waiting Tanakht. Most burned, but others, the Tanakht marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakht prison, or a Karja graveyard, depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? 
further west in Tanakh territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Thanks, Lel. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Thanks, Let's guy. head west to the ridge, then. If we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amatis. Lead on. Thank you, my friend. You mentioned Amatis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakhs took them prisoner instead? To the rot? I don't know. Fuck boxes, man. Send this to my stash. I won't suffer a fox to live. <laughs> Wily bastards. The ridge up ahead. It looks like there's a tunnel. Except that one. Good. Oh. Always crows, man. Just like old times. That's a big mother. Be motherfucker, man. Energy cell fasteners. Guns. Refining core. Take a beating, man. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker before we get his goddamn uh, pieces. Am I supposed to save her? She just gets up on her own.
That gun is like on there, dude. Dude's lost half his health. Processing capsule. Shell bolt. Okay. I don't see shit. Fucking bush, bush man. out for the rest of the day. Head into the tunnel. Nice. Let's go grab all the other stuff. One of his guns fell off. Guess we could have used that. Where did that one I spent ten hours fall to? My thing is the fights move around so much and it's really easy to lose where you were.
Did I just get it already? I mean, I did try to loot it earlier. Okay, we do have the lightning gun. Maybe it was the frost gun we were looking for? I don't know, but... We have some kind of gun. He's a bit more exciting than the game. I really need a better gun, though. Here, <laughs> bow. It's a dead end! Looks like a cave in. Try upgrade for uh I try upgrade uh some more concentration. Slow mo is just the name of the game, um Who the fuck crafts ammo on the work? I usually do it on the fly. Oh, the RNG. I don't mind the RNG, it's that it has a very simple rotation that I feel like gets really old. So what happened to the caravan? <clears throat> Let's look around. Maybe your second sight can help? Only when you get the uh, ability that turns on every single proc at once is it really that fun. That's not exactly last for long, sadly. Talana, I think I found something in the rubble. What is it? What does it say? He was part of the caravan. They went through here. <clears throat> you have to be constantly looking at your there. bars, too. Yeah, it was the stuff. class that made me make a second HUD where I could put the bars, like, right next to the fight. The collapse, I guess. Oh. But there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? I don't know. These mountains are pretty steep. Then I'll have to find a way. Thank you, Aloy, for coming with me this far. But I've taken up enough of your time. Here, take this. May it help you on your own hunt. W hold on. How do I get in contact with you if I find a way across the mountains? I'll check in with Milu at Stone's Echo whenever I can. If you find a way, leave word with her. I will. Good luck. You too. Tamana seems really worried about her friend. I wish there was more I could do. I still need some kind of code to open. Like how she out of character really so wants to help. I can do now. Um, this chick. Even though she's like usually giga focused on saving the world and all that. Bunch of Osram supplies. And, and then dead actually dead. telling people pretty much to fuck off because she's got to go save the world. And maybe there's like a character moment after she rested in the bed. Now she's like being more helpful. I don't know if that's the idea. So there's a code here. I mean, the math is there, so they still do their damage. With the RNG included, right? 
mean, yeah, I'm sure you could have a lucky streak on a random mob, but... I mean, it's more just how it translates in a funky gameplay. Side out while we're out here. Stupid fox. Never should have been born. That's insane. Well, that's some leveling I'll never do. I respect it. I respect the hustle, man. If I had guys high enough, I would I'd level them so that I could get like triple triad cards at the same time. But mm. yeah, that's a little too much respect. Huh? I'm a sinful creature, dude. I I don't think I can respect something that much. from here. Whoever's in these ruins doesn't want any visitors. Eclipse. I need to go to those ruins and find out what they're up to. Those machines look like they've been overridden. I better be careful. people here. Are they being forced to excavate these ruins? He liked getting killed there. <laughs> he got a little too excited to die. You have to actually put in like significant upgrades to even make it worth it. Love it. I just want to grab a power weapon and be like, oh shit, dude. Time to rock. Fucking god, dude. This dude is on fucking roids, man. Six damage. Get 
That's all of them. Now, I need to get hey, into these rooms. Strong. I can help you get in. Stop whatever this Viz was doing. Let's talk. Dyer can make use of this. It won't open from this side. Okay, it's got some kind of special that. lock. Eclipse, bastards. Good riddance. So, Vezra found an actual fortress to hole up in. Listen, if you're here to stop them, you could sneak in from the upper scaffold. We haven't reinforced all of the southern wall yet. Vezra's holed up on the other side. Who are you? I'm Yef. All of us are Utaru. Would have worked me to death if you hadn't shown up. Any idea what's waiting for me inside? Eclipse goons, killer machines, dangerous weapons from the old ones. What kind of weapons? You think they'd tell me? I was lucky to go a day without a beating. Yeah, we get it, bud. The leader's always droning on about wielding the ancient power of death. <sighs> that sounds bad. You should probably head back. And miss my chance to deliver some payback? I want to help. Then stay here and let me handle the fighting. If I rescue anyone else inside, they'll be grateful to see a friendly face. <laughs> well, luck be with you then. Guess I'll just sit back and enjoy the show. Yeah. <clears throat> it's always funny that I have so many people who want to help her. And to spice it up, I don't know why they don't have it. Like, in that last quest we just did, we did have one person helping, but maybe it's they don't want to put all the dialogue in and... Everything. It's like they don't even have to say much. I guess to this game standards though, not much is still an ass load of talking. It'd be funny to see this guy coming in there and just going crazy. Right because they know we're gonna be stealthing possibly as an option, it doesn't work. And then it's <clears throat> There's a lot of conversations that end up the exact same way there. Oh, look at all been some battle the old ones fought here. <laughs> the fucking camera there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> jumping all over because there's like a pole in between it. The old ones fought hard here. Looks like this place was under siege. That's my way in.
This thing's all about component damage. Quite an operation the Eclipse have here. Time to put an end to it. First cool thing that happened all game, man. I'm out. Now for their leader. Those speakers have to be connected to a power source somewhere. Probably inside that big structure. No. I guess we'll find him. Remember, only I can give you this gift. Only I oh, can meet you. Back. For I am no longer just a man. I wield the very power voice. Did he turn in like an AI or something? Half robot. Calm down, everyone. I'm gonna set you free. Hang tight. I'll get you out of there. Otaru, you're safe now. Get as far from here as you can. What will you do? 
clean up this mess. Alone? That's certain death. Sure. For the bad guys. Oh, man. All of you, find a place to hide while I finish this. I want a pair of fucking shorts like that, dude. I'm going right up to my fucking nipples, dude. That ass. Stash this away for later. The arts of the old ones are mine alone to command. And by mastering them, I will secure our future. He just sits here and Maybe talks you should secure your hideout first. Why not just shoot him? The savior of Marie. How kind of you. Deliver Shut up, Vezra. It's over. Hardly. You may have driven us from the Sundom. But now is the time for revenge. How good does that? That rabbit. He's got a cannon. Parker. Canister. Antenna. Sure isn't gonna make things easy. I gotta take it out. Fast. Antenna He's got like a skull on him. Does that, does that usually mean they're down? That <laughs> was with the last, uh, our friend. Okay, apparently not. Maybe he was incapacitated? I don't know. And then he just instantly killed us. What do the symbols mean? Fucking mystery, dude. That Ravager isn't gonna make things easy. I gotta take it out, fast. Good those are when the enemy moves around this fast, man. The 
with cannon. I don't even think he has a cannon. Or an antenna. He's like a like a special one. That's what it is. It's impossible to tell what the hell is going on over there. <laughs> Harder for that. Not with this. We'll both be gone in an instant. Damn, this guy's got a weird, uh. I do have one an instant is. That was like a solid 10 seconds, my guy. Please tell me we don't get to loot that. That'd be awesome. Sick, dude. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Gotta loot everything right in the middle of the combat, man. I hoped you just beat the snot out of these bastards, but this is beautiful. The others. I, I told them to hide. Are, are they... Everyone's okay. They all found a safe place. I figure we'll camp out here until we get our strength back up. Then I'll take everyone back to Plainsong. Thanks, Yef. Listen. Sometimes during his ramblings, Bezra mentioned his former comrades. Said they'd arrive any day now. Are we safe? I don't know. But I intend to find out. Looks like Vezra spent some time in here. I'll take a look around. Great, right, dude. I'm glad we killed that thing and got nothing for it. it. Not that he had many extra parts, but... Kinda of some bullshit, Stick man. Loyal Eclipse. If you're seeing this... I've seen this before. I think that's the last of them. I left word in the dawned. 
if the others are still alive, they'll find it and try to join me here. Or if I take them out first, which I did. Yeah, we remember. Five tribes. Five bombs. That's what I need. With their capitals in ruins, they will have no choice but to submit to my rule. I'll say this for Vesra. He dreamed big. Guess that's all I need to know. I should talk to Yef. Let him know what I found. What? Just some fucking dude. What's up, Brandless? What did you find? Vesra's comrades are dead. The Utaru have nothing to fear from the Eclipse anymore. And neither does the rest of the world. Well then. Can't imagine there's anything a scrawny forager like me could ever do for someone like you. But if you ever need a favor, you can find us in Plainsong. I hope you make it there. Oh, yeah. For some ring. Where is this, uh... Oh, rings out today, right? Or is it tomorrow? Then you're looking for ring a dang. I think it's out today, right? But I mean, I imagine I'll get to play more tomorrow. It is on Steam. Hmm. Ooh, I see. They sent it to me, but. <clears throat> I obviously haven't, I won't get it in until Saturday at the earliest. No, uh, not really. I mean, we're fighting a bit more interesting enemies, but... <clears throat> My goal is to kind of focus the story and do stuff on the side, because you kind of get, like, locked out of almost all the side content if you don't have certain key items just to open doors and shit. Kind of kill some of the adventure vibe, but... <clears throat> I mean, at least the side quests are pretty significant. You got special bosses and story and cutscenes and stuff. But... Yeah. A lot of the main story's gotten even cheesier. Somehow. That's spandex wearing eighty year old superheroes. 
telling us about how they crack heads in VR and shit. <laughs> to try to make the enemy seem intimidating. He's like whistling like nursery rhymes and shit. And this is like really. It felt like they were trying to do some kind of like jet stream Sam or like wacky Kojimbo villain or something. Like, wow, this guy's so evil and unhinged and not. Stop. It did not come across very well. So, we'll get to see more of that soon, I suppose. Kind of dipping into some side quests. Kill point. Level 22. We can just do that later, man. Sir. Yeah, I'm just hoping the the set pieces and the big action and all that is at least entertaining in the main story and maybe some of the side quests, but I don't have much hope for the general gameplay and exploration and the dialogue. Hoping we just see budget, man, big budget just thrown around, just money. Some crazy bullshit, right? Some Hollywood. Yeah, throwing the, the big cash cock around. Contract mentioned should be close by. I want to look through the contract one more time. Make sure I didn't miss anything. There are the chargers. If I can take a few of them down, it should lure in the scrappers I'm looking for. Elton Ring, yeah. Meanwhile, I'm playing the forgotten game of 2022. <laughs> I'll be ringing in a few days, hopefully. Don't bully. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it'll get all the Game of the Year awards. Sony will make sure of that, man. Not if Breath of the Wild 2 releases this year, man. Not even Sony can combat the Nintendo 3 man. Or not even Sony. Yeah, yeah. 
I, I, I said it right. Being able to get a PS5, yeah. I guess it keeps people wanting them though, right? Because <clears throat> they're rare. That should do it. Time to take these parts back to Larry. I mean, I would get one just because I'm going to need one at some point. I don't think Lost Ark's getting shit. I don't think anybody truly acts like Lost Ark is like a very good game. Although they have a crazy marketing campaign and push behind it, so maybe they throw in some dough, man, for you know, best new MMO kind of thing, right? Amazing online support or some fucking silly award. Yeah. <laughs> Best North American release for an old MMO. Something like that. I don't think that would get anything. I feel like after this month of like Elden Ring and everything else, everybody's just gonna forget about Lost Art for the most part. I mean, this game's already about been forgotten. It's Elden Ring's coming out. Be welcome, Outlander. I don't think Lost Ark has much hope on that front. If Lost Ark did get some big awards, then I mean that would be a new low for the oh, game awards. Sister. They're already like pretty much a joke, but with all the death loop shit. Forspoken? Yeah, Forspoken's got to get a little something. Oh, Fire Gleam, it tells you where they are. But is there anything behind them? Is there actually something cool if I go up to these Fire Gleam? I mean, I guess they're really out of the way, though. I really don't like how, uh, well, there's one. I don't really like how we've been held back by, like, certain 
story progression just to do normal progression like a uh, normal exploration should be close by no, yeah, I already did it it's completed Happy to see me? Oh. Where's this thing at? Find me. Because, man, some of these you have to run really far away, or really far back, just to get them. If these just have, like, nothing in them, that's going to be really lame. Let's we'll find out, huh? Well, this is already a bit more... Go check these out. We'll see. shit for like three or four or five minutes just uh I'm like five money man like they're in some fancy ass spots man See. Oh, you can only move really quick if you're on road. That must be it. I can't do the sprint out here in the wilds, man. Can I go quick now? Nope. It's just really inconsistent then. I guess this road's not cool enough, dude. Oh, now I can sprint. I have no idea then. Have to hold it. I hope this is just a single, like, five by five room with the chest in the middle. It at all. No, even less. <laughs> really? Truly? A one metal bone and three shards. This was fucking. This, they stopped us from checking this and getting this. For fucking zero loot. We had to come all the way back here 
I'm really far away for nothing. Why even why even story lock it then? It's just bad exploration. I can open this right now. Three shards. Four blades. It was almost the same value as that. Just a random ass piece of shit chest sitting around. Wild man. I have a hundred and something of those bones already. I feel like when you hide something from player or tell the player they can't go grab something. Until they get story progress, that generally you'd have something at least kind of interesting behind it. Yeah, we're not gonna open this unless I'm really feeling desperate. We'll just focus the story a bit and then hopefully we just get them as we go, because they're not very valuable. Have to stop the loot. The sheer amount of stuff you need to loot would be much better if they just did what like Breath of Wild or even Pokemon did. I should read it one more time, just in case. Just like Lauren said, I need their antennas. If I shoot them off without getting spotted, everything should go smoothly. trying to shoot <laughs> you can see I'm trying to shoot the antenna right and then the arrow goes straight to the center of the guy because it's got fucking really aggressive auto -air. <laughs> I think we might have still got the antenna back for a few shots but... couldn't get those antennas fast enough they've called for reinforcements no the antennas disappear button man. Oh, 
That's all of them. Now to pick up some antennas. Take these antennas back to land when I get a chance. Perfect timing, Huntress. Perfect timing, Huntress. Yeah, my quirky one. friend. I see your reputation as a hunter. Okay, Michael is well Michael CNS looking dude. Here's man. your payment. I got some armor Looks like you've got <laughs> under his bicep. On, on his bicep. I'm a hairy guy, and I don't even got hair there, man. Our scouts spotted a fanghorn nearby. It spews fire like a blazing forge. If I had it, my armor could resist an inferno. What do you think? I'll check the details later. See if I can track it down. Oh, he just keeps you won't shit. regret it. I should good luck finding I promise these are the last parts we'll need how still working on I have to hope you track down this new sound oh okay so we gave them both at the same time yeah I can finally start working on the armor I should take a quick look at Laren's contract. Read all the details. Nah. <coughs> I see machine tracks. Might be the thing She's just for. gonna tell us anyways. Machine tracks here. I'm not gonna need my focus to tell them apart. I'm gonna watch this There's animation four tracks. times. Not what I'm looking for. No luck. These tracks were made by a charger. On the fanghorn tracks. The trail looks fresh too. My focus should help me follow it. There you are. Let's see where you lead. It's fire. I think I found Laren's new friend. I'm gonna have to take it down. Can just stay still for me, huh? I'll catch you eventually. 
a little while. for my stash later. Hey man, that's just how it is. I'm gonna be born on this. You can get a strong this color. Cursed rock. Oh, that's a lot of lance horns. Problem with critical strikes and melee and <clears throat> stealth kills is you don't get parts. Because if you don't shoot parts off, they just explode. So it'd be kind of nice if you got like a crit, if there was a chance to still keep the parts. I don't know, maybe maybe that is the case. In the tooltips they said otherwise. So. Where'd that guy go, ma'am? Thank you. 
guess you can't break parts when they're knocked down, which doesn't even make sense. armor. Just have to take it back to his camp. for that. and see what this amazing armor is. Over here, Aloy. Here's that Fanghorn you wanted. Most of it, anyway. Yes, this is it. One more thing. I this will make my in. armor truly stand out. Unless maybe I can add. A it's about time you got started. Because there's supposed to be like a bunch You're of right. these camps, apparently. Can't make the perfect armor if I never light the forge. Thank you, Aloy. Maybe you'll come back around when Karuf does. See me win that prize? I can try. Aloy, are you looking to buy some <clears throat> Get something? I thought I was supposed to maybe get that. Not that, is it? Did I get anything, man? No armor, my dude? My guy? Give me there, give me there, give me there. It said the reward was going to have it on it. We have to do every single salvage guy before we can actually get a fucking piece of armor from them. That's kind of silly. right that's the real the real big thing right, right.
Okay. Next. Main story. Oh, you get the armor if you find all the salvage can and do them all. I think there it is. Gotcha. Wait, I'm supposed to talk to the pit master. I already did that. I'm supposed to talk to him after like winning or something? I mean, I did all of his challenges. I even fought him. <sighs> this guy is he's freaking on the dentist nightmare fuel <clears throat> yeah probably man Is it like a long drive or a walk on top of that or? Hmm. <clears throat> so you got like seven hours till you need to be up. I guess you wouldn't eat beforehand though, huh? That's the most I can do. I haven't checked into the workbench this whole fucking all today, man. this time but it's not yeah I'm gonna be uncomfortable for sure Actual surgery, though. How about getting those removed or something? As long as they're not in there weird, that's not too bad. They probably gotta be on the happy medicine for a bit. Keep 
poking. See where that'll take you. I've given it all that I've got, friend. But you're welcome to keep practicing here. Why do they tell me to talk to this guy? Literally nothing to do. See you later, Odurg. Farewell then. Get it. What do they want me to do? Every tutorial? You can suck my fucking cheeks, man. That's what they want. bad man and they just put you under and you wink them out man they have to cut them out and stitch they stitch me up the kind of stitches I don't know if they're the kind of stitches that disappeared on their own or it was the kind that you had to go back in and get them taken out I think they disappeared on their own then I was just on the happy meds for a little bit if I really needed them Right, plain song. The blight's taking over the Utah. That's really hot. I'm open my door. I'll be back. Like a fucking gorilla. Now that's power. I feel fucking intimidated. My dick just crawled back inside of my fucking body. Just looking at it. Blue fields. <gasps> I have to get Guy up and running. She does just have like a fucking power stance though, man. When she's uh talking to people. Keep your spirits up. 
Billy Bear Square? That's a lot. There's Moral and Zoe. Not happening right now. I'll keep that in mind. The hymns, man. The angelic hymns, man. We don't have time for Pokemon. Could use some backup against Tanakh's rebels. <laughs> what is a? There's a Pokemon Direct. When? What? It's gonna be like Arceus DLC, dude. Pokemon Directs are usually rancid. I'll probably catch the highlights unless I just happen to be on. They still have the same face, dude. Having a good day? <laughs> Having a great day, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> like bold him and his, uh, his grandma wife over or whatever. So the rumors are true. I didn't want to you talk must to be her. the soldier who took down Regala's champion and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsville? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by. It's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. That's voice acting, dude. Maybe I'll see you there. Bet a sturdy soldier like you could handle the trials there. I prefer the sound of machines to sing. Hey. Yeah. Sharing warrior bow. As I get my supplies, I'm heading back to the hunting. Dude, we need a lot of these fucking claw strikers. Get to him when we get to him, really. A bellow back. Lance horn circulator. <clears throat> I think you're just RNG. Can't say I want to go out and grind. You know, you'd hope you just get most of this uh, just planned, but. I'm not gonna bother. We'll get him, we'll get him, man. All my life, I believed in the cycle of life. But I can't. I just can't believe she's dead. She was the best of us. We have enough rations to train But, uh... Of him. <laughs> oh, was I gonna say though? Um. A 
warm meal can save your life out there. How are you? Keep that chin up. Please! The chorus won't meet with me. I don't know what else to do. How about you just start by telling me what's wrong? I'm from Riverhem, to the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but we barely drove... Why do they have perfectly clean manicured hair and shit, man? But they all pick the worst haircuts. them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who even listened to me. Would it be too much to hope that you'd stand with us in this fight? If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. Q. for somebody who owes you a favor? Aloy, wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plainsong? It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. Plain. People who need me here. And it has a song, Some of the dude. others the Eclipse took had it worse. Plain than. song. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. It's to the west, and it's I forbidden. Like you did, but I'll give it my so best. it's the forbidden west. <clears throat> you know, there's plenty of people out here, and it doesn't seem that much more deadly than the east. But I guess they had to make it seem hype. that destroys the future we'll call it zero dawn because there won't be a dawn <laughs> there's just a bunch of places like, like that I feel like <clears throat> yeah and I feel like the exploration tampered by story progression uh, key items to be able to go places Survey drone. Can we get in there now? I remember what we needed. Might have needed the item I have right now. I could go check it out. I have armor room. and garments for sale. Yeah, every time there's dialogue, I just kind of die, but... Still ranged. Urge of shadow. That was good defense. And it starts to block her face, which is nice. Keep me in mind when you need armor. I got a full helmet. I'm in, dude. Gimme, gimme. The fucking like choir singing. Cheesy. These are just the enlightened here or something now. Toxins fill the air here, Huntress. A remedy can make all the difference in the wild. 
<laughs> Don't give me a story. Yeah. I mean, I'd love a story if it was fucking any good. Yeah, but like, goddamn. We'll go check that out after the main story. Let's just do it. I'm here, as promised. But singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Vaughn. Yeah, we get it. You want to fuck I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day, more deadly machines. Some of this earlier, but. I really wish they would put some more variety into the different tribes and stuff. They're all really similar with just some slightly different flavoring. These people worship an AI. These people worship a robot. These people are just bandits. These people worship a sun god that is probably an AI. And it's like, okay, but like, I feel like the thought process of them isn't even that different. Like the chain scrape down the around. They're just some workers, man, you know? <laughs> it doesn't feel like anybody's like surviving out here in like a crazy Forbidden West or anything crazy like that. Things are just going bad now all of a sudden. Fiends try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defense. There's no the hot topics, no crazy themes. The first of many Each of the tribes, we don't end up exploring something interesting like a postmodern world thing it's just this is what it just throws lore at you this is what they are and it's got nothing really to say after that and it's just like eh? Eh? <laughs> that's not that interesting the lore in the first book it's the same old shit from the first one yeah everybody's really Your nice and quirky has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe you said you couldn't what? have assembled the chorus without it. What did you do? Explore the story. Dude. Some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. But Laurel <clears throat> saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray. There may even have been a little exaggeration. Don't forget, their their gods are called Do Re Mi Fa. <laughs> the whole like, ooh, hey, this is something that we in the modern day know that somehow has turned into a revered you know deified creature or concept. That that got old. After like five minutes in the first game, <laughs> but they're still doing it, man. I just wish it had stood on enough uh, legs of its own. It wasn't just always about the gimmick, the concept, the setting, I mean. Growing interest to put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on? Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The, the fuss was <laughs> already Everybody's there. so light. You're so Men dramatic. Such most a weight on every shoulders, but also... Generations, which often so funny. ...is nothing. A lie. But there are others who call for change. Or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. Or just ignore them. And move on. Why do they have ownership of this random cave? Because they were here first? So or you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osiram. It is our archers at the cordon that truly hold the machines back. 
They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. Yeah, they're zealo <laughs> zealotry or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Their faith is their undoing, as usual, right? Happened with that sun guy. Happening here. People are out there dying because they won't let us in some fucking cave of mysticism. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're hunter tougher killer. than any we fought before. More vicious with a strange purple glow. Sounds familiar. You've fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. Wow. We'll see. He's kind of a badass. Do what you need to prepare. If you guys forgot. We'll wait for you above. Where the chorus She's is kind of badass. He doesn't take much shit. I need a break from the story. <laughs> We've only been out for two seconds. I'm gonna go see what this drone's about. Any of dangers out there, stranger? <whistles> Hope you're doing well. Thank you, my friend. You sound really worried about the future. All of your tribesmen are dying, and the world's turning into a blighted mess. How very casual of you. Nobody even feels like they worry. They're worried about shit. Literally, just there's blight right in front of their fucking door. Dude. It's surrounded by fucking plague, man. <laughs> and he just asked me jovially, "Hey, man, how's your uncle?" The air feels cooler. Write something a little fucking it's harder for the game, man. Of course there's going to be people who can be happy in like a, or you know, hold it together in a hardcore situation, but... Everybody's like that. You don't feel really that much agency. Other than just them telling you that you shouldn't. Sitting on a fucking plague ground here. Slow mode in the air does when it's like five milliseconds of slow mode. Maybe that's tied to my other slow mode.
just waiting for this thing. Taking you with me. What? Oh, apparently I'm supposed to hold a button when I'm on there. How would I even know? Sick. Sit there. And that's it. I'm gonna get the data from the drone. Grounds, man, those are so fucking. They're they're annoying. They're... Oh, is it shit? Play it out there. Let's just do the main story. Huh? Today, mate. Just got another quest for me or something. What is this? A word <clears throat> of warning: avoid the ruins northwest of Plain Song. Scouts say something lights up the ruins when night comes. Whatever it is, it's not natural. Good to know. No, oh, yeah, there was another place I couldn't get to earlier. Now I can. The No Man's Land one. Do that. I'm just gonna pay for all the fast travels. At this point, like 25 per fast travel is a lot, but it's like better than not fucking putts around anymore. Ooh. An old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. Looks like this door is locked. Maybe there's another way in. Okay, let's see what we can find around here. This crate might be useful. Might have been able to actually come in here earlier. Press R2 on it, man. They show it to you, and then you like move one inch, and then you can't do it anymore. I never understood having a 
These proximity contacts buttons disappear the closer you get. <clears throat> bizarre choice. An energy cell. But it looks like it's out of power. Out of power. Fuck you. Don't think I should go this way. <laughs> okay. I'll just leave you to it then. Old, old relic. How do I get in there to get it? Thing around is gonna do much for me right now. Like this thing needs power. This could be useful. Oh, there's some kind of device here. I can slot this energy cell into that device. There we go. Charge the energy cell. That's, that's quick charge, man. Uh, water discharged the energy in the cell. I gotta power it up again. up there that easily. I gotta find something that can help. <laughs> Trying to find like a 
jack way up there. There. The lock on the door above should have a door. Okay. This thing has power now. What was the code? 2206 or some shit? That didn't work. Two zero four. Guys, okay, got the relic. Guess I'll hold on to it for now. Might find a use for it later. Now I'll do the story. This is not a debate. Whatever the chorus says, go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Jones. <laughs> you guys ready for this one? Ready for Kino, dude. So the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. All the bad guys are just doing whatever they want. <laughs> they go through these idiots. Idiot convention. Why has everybody got the arms of like a twig? Looking malnourished and. Speak. The last area, everybody was like super fat. <laughs> everybody here is like super skinny. In your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. And if I can get it, it so will. and the Nora have spread word of your story and what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave, only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power the of the arms, land man. gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will Grandma's not help got us. as big as arms as him. Will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. But he's got a double chin. Wait. How is it possible? You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? <laughs> So says the Outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zo. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. How? By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. She has a point. She has a point. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. She pulled the children card, dude. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. Then why not let her in, dude? What is the fucking wonky ass logic here? An alarm. It's coming from of the Of course, mountains. we've got a prove ourselves now instead of having an actual discussion. Yeah, perfect the timing. Must have through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon Let has fallen, die. there's nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. Fucking music. What? They all gotta fucking grab. <laughs> we gotta have the fucking beast. This I'm surprised they didn't have a superhero landing at the end there just to around. fucking throw that on. It's over. Fucking boom, boom. We all got fucking grappling. We all jump off the ledge like madmen. Who knew this was gonna happen when they told us to be ready? 
<laughs> the hype's over, dude. Hunter killers. They must have come from the cordon. The others oh, will it's just running now. We have to move. Do you really think we can do something about all of this? If I'm right, then yeah. Is the guy behind us? Oh, he's like really far behind us. To do the silent strike, but if you move in even a slightly weird way, they fucking tell you you can't do stuff. God, they just move around so much. These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. Deadlier. There's more than just me and the missing land god in that cave. I'll take this one! Can we leave now? Is it because I shot that guy? Said silent strike and everything, dude. I hate the prompts, man. I wish it would just like force it no matter what. Like if I could crit him and I press R1, no matter what it goes off instead of some weird shit. Cause it fucking misses so often. I don't know its weak point. I don't know its weak point. Alright, buddy. They just go back to their normal fucking spiels, dude. You're off rails. You're playing off rails. Greetings, Outlander. The winds are coming. Like she's really half house. dead right now. It'll lead us to the cordon. More machines. We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Oh, yeah, my dude. Get a little closer, my friend. Damn, they just keep moving farther away from us. Let's take down this machine! 
move and twist so much, man. Sometimes, man, I'd rather just not have it. So bad. You have to spec into melee so hard and it fucking barely does shit still. somehow be out of resources at this point. Alright, try that again. It's pretty much impossible. What a shock attack heard it. I'm still in this fight. machine Whoa. that's the last one now on to the cordon let's go right behind you let's go right behind you fuck you <laughs> this is the voice I use when serious business is about to happen and I'm very confident. This will be my stash when I need it. Any other loot around here? The loot kind of just ends up scattered as fuck because you fight over a very large. Kills the base like this, right? Looting for ten years. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Gordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. Need his parts really. I probably should have just used the small one. It does the same amount of tear damage. It's the sniper shot. to the cave.
Hold on, I just have to obsessively loot every little fucking thing. No oh, parts from that is just salvage. Vertical shock traps. I'll give a fuck. Open. I gotta take your offerings, dude. Doesn't matter. I can only use one to ammo type. This is sacred ground. I can't believe you. No, oh, she just said it. Anyway. <laughs> Rain's letting up. Kind of wall made of up here. Follow your lead, Aloy. Are you gonna follow that? Can I just make the jump? Oh, she just kind of like floated on over, dude. <laughs> Zoom. Understand what's going on in there. You're gonna need one of these. Everybody gets one. How many does she have, dude? These things just come fucking like by the droves, apparently. Just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zach. I hope. Oh, thanks. What a fucking... What a smooth motherfucker, yeah, man. More, different. more dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. <laughs> oh, shit. I hope it's that 80 year old man in spandex that we fought earlier. I snap a lot of necks in VR. That <laughs> guy my fucking my favorite character. He's so bad, dude. Something finally happening? We have to find the core Not of this really. <clears throat> I mean, kind of. So These people are nice. under attack. We need to get all of the AI. We need to get all of the MacGuffins to activate the Super MacGuffin. And so, we're kind of running around helping people and... The, all the AI we need are just like the one in the first one, they run rampant and all that, so it has something to do with that here. I mean, we're kind of doing something, but we're just going into another cauldron, essentially. <laughs> I love Tim's uh, very good boy. you've seen before. Yeah, dude, it's out on Steam right now, apparently. Time to ring them, man. I'm gonna Should fucking be ring. We'll have to take them out. Do you see right behind you, Raylord? I've seen mixed things about how well it runs. But yeah, I think I got a patch coming. I'll be playing on console soon, probably be an issue. Are you seen us? Okay. 
<laughs> Brute force, right? Yeah, that's the, that's the prayer, right? This was a cauldron. Where machines are born, if you forgot. I maybe I should remind you there. You couldn't tell by all of the machinery and the shit getting put together in these. No man's got you covered. Have to sit on these and hold R forever. All the time. I guess it's probably loading while it's happening. Otherwise, I don't know why they'd want you to sit there and hold for like Those five seconds. Every glowing. repeat. I've seen them before. They're like an infection. That thing I said that wants us dead. It takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called a Festus. Even the mountain is blocked to the grass. It looks like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. Cool. <coughs> Standing on this floor panel, activated something. It looks like parts of those pillars are rotating. Maybe if I shoot the gears, I can lock them into place. Make a path up. This is not what you want. Only when they light up, I'm guessing. Now they tell me what to do more. I can't handle making decisions on my own. That did something. Gotta have to wait forever. Let's just hope that by the time we get up there, this one be ready. One more. Can you stand over so, there, dude? Can you stand on that panel? Hey, nice. Like this? Good. Stay there. Take your fucking time, Jesus. move this thing like this you could easily just put it over like a one foot fucking ledge but Jesus. Yeah, if you guys haven't caught it yet, which you might not have yesterday, the game is like non stop backseat dialogue. Always holding your hand. Oh, there's only two pillars this time. Interesting. But now that we're doing main story, it's pretty much where all of it is. My shot, Aloy. Device. The second sight. 
They can't climb, they're just side characters. Physically inferior to the goddess. How's it going up there, Aloy? One more set of pillars. There should be a floor panel nearby to activate them. She never responds to them, she just mutters shit to herself the whole time. How's it going up there, Aloy? One more set of floor panels. Two. Two polar panels, three gears. <laughs> Forbidden tech now. I mean, it's an absolute uh, now I can call visual. I don't say marvel, but you know, it's on a technical level, it's, it's hardcore for sure. How come I can latch on to this one? Yeah, but not the other ones. That's why I keep jumping off like a madman. Yeah, where well, they're just sitting there doing like nothing, right? Look, they need to have dialogue about how she's breaking tradition and her religion is a lie, right? Except they only did one line of that. I guess they're just going to sit there and ask her how she's doing. The cables are moving. They're drawing back. We can climb up that vent. Cool, how did cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. That one's even crazier. Nobody okay. said anything about that one. How to get up to the node. Packs full, but my stash has one. That's great. Very immersive, but she reminds us about it every two seconds. That conversation started so late, and it was possibly interesting because it would let them know that actually there's a lot of caves like this, and their cave isn't that important, but it just gets cut off. Come on over, you two. I mean, objectively, it's not like it's a bad game. It's like a big part. I mean, there's bad parts for sure, but like its biggest problem is that it's just very by the numbers. Man. Very focused, tested, feeling. Just a soulless fucking <laughs> cut copy piece of shit, man. Blame Assassin's Creed, dude. Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 are cool, but they started the fucking madness of cookie cutter open world games. Was it, would it go back to Assassin's Creed 1? I think this kind of in incarnation or whatever of open world. I'd say is rooted with Assassin's Creed. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's open world stuff like adventure games like Ocarina of Time and all that. But, Witcher Vision? Assassin's Creed had Eagle Vision. Assassin's Creed 1 did. So, probably that. <laughs> Just a soulless piece of shit. <laughs> I might be exaggerating. The piece of shit part is a bit more subjective, but. I mean, I don't think it's a great game, but yeah, Soulless has. <laughs> yeah, Black Flag's good because they own the pirate thing, and the pirate thing's actually fun, and there's not that many games with, like, pirate stuff that isn't a multiplayer game. I need to take a piss on everybody. Yeah, I don't know for sure the fast stuff, but I want to say Assassin's Creed 1, dude.
Yeah, two and Black Flag are my favorite. I gave up after Origins. I didn't play uh, Rogue, which was before Origins. Yeah, open worlds with so much stuff in them that you need some kind of Witcher vision. I want to say that's not that screen. It's about as far back as I could remember one being that way. This brand of uh, open world didn't start until... 360 PS3 generation. Maybe you could see signs of it before that, but like you could play Assassin's Creed one and it's gonna feel in a lot of ways like a blueprint for this. Yeah, Fasto. I mean people were interested in the spin-off game they were gonna do off of Black Flag, but it never went anywhere. I mean you got the one that Rare made. Um, there's been a few India times that are mostly multiplayer, but yeah. Like a really good single player one. Black Flag's still the best. That I've played. Yeah, Sea of Thieves is supposed to have gotten a lot better. Had a bad start from what I remember, but... There's Sid Meier's Pirates. <laughs> I think that's a little different since it's more of a strategy thing. I haven't played it though either. Looks it's like not. there's another node on the other side. Near that door. Go to your thinking. How to get to that node on the other side. Mark. Go do your thing. There's still no sign of fog. It's a big place. But yeah. I mean, this game, I mean, it's just a very bland kind of soil this game. It's a focus tested feeling kind of. I think I can reach it if I glide. Kind of vibe in the first place. Where are you showing me to go now? Over there. No way we're gonna make that. Got me down there. It'd be one thing if the writing and everything wasn't so bland. Like, obviously, the gameplay and the systems are gonna be super dull and bland because they're just copying what's been popular since Assassin's Creed 1, but. But refining them a little bit. But since the writing and everything, so whatever. Is the world any interesting to explore? Um, I mean, it looks very nice. I wouldn't say it's creative, like very creative. I don't think it's like rich in any kind of like lower atmosphere that just like really soaks you, soaks, soaks you in, pulls you in. But it does look nice. The problem is because it's all about opening up the map, picking your waypoints, and just going there instead of truly walking around and discovering shit. And that half of the time they tell you when you go to explore something, you can't continue until you do more story to get the item you need to explore it. It just kind of like ruins the feeling of adventure. It feels like you're just kind of doing stuff to see the cutscene, see some fights, and level your shit up. And it's not as a. Uh, not of great, as great of a feeling as something that's truly more focused on adventure, like a, I guess like a Subnautica, Breath of the Wild or something, right? <laughs> What's up, Jack? I mean, I definitely prefer playing it than actually having the story happen, but... Yeah, that's not the whole lot. Yeah, I wish there was a bit more creativity in the world. I mean, it's pretty much hyper-realism with a bit more color. And, uh... A few pieces of machinery thrown around in it. I mean, like, that could be fine. It's not, like, insanely fresh or creative, but they could put a good story on it to make it interesting, but... I mean, other than these cauldron bits, you don't really get the vibe. Bummed. I'm not bummed. I'm just talking about the game. I'm very rarely bummed. I think I can hit 
a ride on one of those metal carriers. Just being critical of the game, I guess. Not like in a bad mood or anything. I would say these sections are the most cool looking, or most creative. Yeah, if you mean my voice, I mean, I always sound like I'm on death's fucking door and stoned or something, but it's just how I sound. <laughs> Mata and Tim over here. But anyways, yeah, I mean, these areas, you could say they're a bit more creative. No, no. Good brother, man. Able to glide that platform down there. But, uh, anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. These areas are a bit more creative, but they kind of just feel like the Matrix or something. <laughs> you guys know the machine parts from the Matrix, right? I mean, other than the force fields, it's very reminiscent of that. But then I mean, they still look cool. The thing is, these are always kind of like a side. It intersects with the open map a little bit, but it's mostly nature. What is it about with this place? It's taken over facilities before to build deadly machines. But it wasn't always hostile. I guess we should wait and hear what they have to say. Something good. Something called Gaia. They didn't have anything else to say. More of those cables covering that door. I think we're almost at the core. Oh my god. Be ready. You've got oh your yeah, back. I walked too close. I gotta walk just just close enough. Just to leap forward for the cutscene. <laughs> whoops. Somebody oh forgot to turn the cables off earlier. I grow some sense. You know what we have to do. Maybe a few people need to get clobbered by this thing, well, you know? Are you ready? Damn. Just dripping with fucking emotion. Drama. It's fucking... It's wet, it's soaked. That dome of light. <laughs> going down. The machine. Yeah. <laughs> going down after that dra light. dramatic. Shut we're gonna kill your god. <laughs> spiel. Oh, I'm moving the music. Here we go. Launcher. Definitely the horns. More machines are coming. And I'll get the big guy. Man. 
are gonna be hard. so much. It tends to aim for the ammo, ammo or not the ammo, the armor. I just want the fat with it, dude. So he just like cocks his head and dodges it. Need to get the pieces because half the time they just fucking uh, just throw the wall the whole fight. These guys aren't doing a good job. I did a boss fight earlier that took forever and then they just like wore me out of there. butter man Suffering, man. Mourning a machine that nearly killed us. It's still her god. Well, well, I do she's not wrong. grieve for a god or a machine, but because I no longer know what to believe, 
You look like you're grieving to me. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people. One step at a time. But it starts now. It starts. We're just gonna warp down here. I try to loot what I could. <laughs> the technology is about physically forcing things to submit, dude. Because she's the chosen one, dude. Only she can do it. So much weight on her shoulder. She might as well, this chick might as well bow down, get on her knees, put a halo on fucking Alloy. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Dude, she's the chosen one. She has the genetic, she's a genetic, she's a clone, dude. One of the people who made the AI. They look like machines. Overrides. Please understand. How to tame machines. And For some reason that means that only she can do everything. Even though it's just her staff that's even doing anything <laughs> right there. Bro. No. Only she can carry that weight, my guy, right? <laughs> Please stop. Please understand. Store them, and there's data here from machines I haven't scanned yet. Got what you need? Yes, let's press on then. Okay. Hey man, have fun, dude. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit, Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. Attention, all personnel must vacate the facility immediately. Something doesn't want us here. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. 
And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead. See if there's a way to get us in. There's a sure we shouldn't come with uh, you. Way to get us in. Yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Ally needs to keep exhaling that oxygen at a very rapid rate, dude. the facility systems. Alert! Restricted access! You are not wanted here. Nope, sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. Huh. Might be able to pull that open. Yeah, like, no shit. There's not really much else to do. Let's see where this leads. shaft Don't think I'm getting through that door right now. I should turn back, see what else I can find. Yeah, I think, you know. Unless you're fucking two years old, you probably could come to that same conclusion after looking around for a few seconds. Even a two-year-old might have it figured out. And I'm outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. Minerva to cooperate. I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. We know. I can start fixing the blight, the storms. I, I remember. And maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? Thank you for asking all the questions, man. I wasn't sure what to think of everything, but. There's somebody here to tell me. Where's the jump point? Pipes up there. Might lead me to a way back in. But how to reach them? I have to go around back or something. There must have been a way to actually get higher from here. Of course. Just jump on the stalagmites and all that business. like low guitar they have for bass or whatever it's only during climbing sections I guess it's the 
theme of climbing <laughs> that random base. A couple base strings here and there. Boom, 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 boom. Those rocks look loose. I think I can clear them. Oh, I can't just knock them open. Cutscene them open. Aha. Uh -huh. Another shaft. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Oh, it's got some kind of phone. Wonder what it's for. This would end poorly for her, but I'm sure it's gonna be all Minerva, you, okay. I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She That's can right. live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. Will I cease? I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. Let's see. Yes. Listen to these emotional strings. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Do you wish to initiate heuristic matrix? Here goes. Dun 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 dun. It's like it's strange. I guess they just mine read her. Scanning data. <laughs> Throw your memories up on the wall. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations. And you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? No. They will be here shortly. I could use less dialogue like him. Um, okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. <laughs> Yo. Uh... So no fake this time? 
No. This time she's real. Borel? So? This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. I have established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Whoa. Good. So what was this place? That's great. Now we hear them more often. Center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for... So this was supposed to be... the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. <laughs> I'll take a look. Craft an overin. Oh, great. Can only do that one. Well, I was able to repair some of the corrupted overrides. But it looks like I need data from more machine parts to fix the rest. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. Get the when fuck ready, out of my way. To the control room. We have much to discuss. I don't want to talk to Zell. Looks like an office. Facility was designed with anything in these offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. Hey Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. What's all this junk? Like collectibles or something? This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Looks like another office. If no one's ever been here, who built all this? Gaia did. With the help of machines. This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Oh, okay. You don't want to come and know what's up, my dude? Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... And what if Aloy died? Ready? Yes. We need to, somebody else needs to know what's going on. Complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, why are your yeah. teeth so scary? But two big ones first. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors, and a, um, a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. <laughs> Do you know who they are? The answer to that question the is units. the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Hey, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. Satellite. I hope we go to space. 
I would much prefer that. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. 81 trillion. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. So, what's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? <laughs> it's a very familiar story. Obviously, it's just a coincidence, but some of you might have played something a few months ago that feels very familiar. I hope we end up having to go to the edge of the universe and... Fight on a big dragon's back to save the unit. All's creation and all that. Serious. But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's Mars, where it was it's the headed. Odyssey, man. But it blew up. Roman gods, this. Greek gods, that. Odyssey. Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. <laughs> yeah, Actually, the song is The sensory <laughs> capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. <gasps> Receiving. All oh, happen to be fucking right next to us, probably. Apollo, Artemis, and Eleuthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. Very convenient. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. No, it's not. Procuring I gotta be able to Hephaestus fight Hephaestus bots all game. After my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice.
What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. I feel like other people should be in here, but I guess they just don't want to have to write dialogue for them. It's always like really obvious that that's what's going on. I'd rather just keep it one on one so that's there's not as many complicated conversations and actual writing required. Oh my god, there's so much. The three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems yeah. currently plaguing the biosphere. Do you think people would need to know about Ethan this shit? Is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating uh, the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic process. Yeah, consider it only takes her like a day or two to get one of these. Their responses it doesn't to seem like much. Irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. Or it seems like plenty. They need to be whole again. Exactly. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Pharaoh. Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? 
If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. <laughs> Who knows if they were even storing it, though, man. They might have just been like... <laughs> they just knew how to create them with other materials somehow. I don't remember the lore on that. Because she was made in a... Like a fucking lab. I don't remember what the deal was as a clone. The three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three. Can I even get all the AI? Is that like side content? Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the Demeter, so if all three, they would constantly yeah, but beware. In human terms, they are frightened. Like Minerva. Exactly. Given Hephaestus's importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Yes, uh... Merging Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity, exceeding that of Hephaestus. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world? Yes, and to program their behavioral routines. Or even control them directly. So could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth. Human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design build and command such an oh, army. We're gonna get some kind of Given the nature big of the hype. Threat, doing Whoa, so the robots are helping option. us. I must Final charge. Me, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. Okay. God. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that, if they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power until she could take control of Hephaestus, and then the whole terraforming system... Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely a Extinction. small timer. Here. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good.
You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. How much water years. on that, man? This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. Not very smart as is, Alan. Is the descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, the clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's hey. genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge. Yeah. But bro... This one, this planet's already got everything all ready. Ready to go, man. All the machinery's here, bro. That's, that's gotta be what it is, right? <laughs> you killing your own clone. No, they'll probably work together and shit chat and somebody's gonna make a sacrifice the clone will right? we'll get to learn about the her progenitors you know uh, how they thought and stuff and then we're gonna have to beat up the other old people in spandex knowledge and carried aboard the ship in storage that's okay but I mean <laughs> I don't know about that She's this in like just a normal ass robe. How could she participate in this? Well, maybe. Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's. It's evil. Forsaken South. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Forsaken Northmen. Canada Journeys. Has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A thousand game set in Montreal. I don't think so. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. <laughs> she is a clone, though. She's a clone of somebody that's also been cloned again, apparently, by a bunch of fucking senior citizens in superhero outfit. <laughs> Maybe we're a clone of a clone. Whoa. Throughout history, every defensive <laughs> technology has eventually been cool by an dude. offensive counterpart. For example... Assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines. <laughs> no shielding could withstand Bruh, such me. insult indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. She's not supposed to be evil, I don't think, but we'll see. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Well, all of this is optional Why? dialogue. I have wondered this myself. So <laughs> the far recessive as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had. We have more clones and versions of uh, Elizabeth Sobek than Sora has clones and versions of himself. Thorough knowledge of the, the end of the ship. Yes, the signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, 
I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after Math. it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Mm, Correct. That's Only then would the sender two. stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration <laughs> of course. Out, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location. Right after I scanned my astronomical database. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Logically. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. And they all happen to be within a few miles of each other, thank God. Instead of having like a chain of different open worlds across the world. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they see. Didn't we destroy the last focus? Meaning she only has like a few hours of data. Like she like crushed her focus and then whipped out another one. Seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substrate data indicates including with the spyware that the settlement called was worried Las about. Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. <laughs> yeah, As best such, not to think about it. Most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Ether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Well, I mean, I kind of... It's nice they give you a choice, but... Probably should start where the levels make sense, man. <laughs> levels, are you tough enough for level 24? I think I'll head for Ether. Then I will assign Ether. This one seems like the most boring too, because it's Tanakh, so it'd be just like more fucking tribal politics. But I like severe storms. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Yeah, you've told me. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal. I wonder to if you can finish. actually get the other ones too. I do, don't I? <laughs> yeah, no, if you could just switch, why even in my zoom area? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Such a way. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzina. Oh, she's having to live up to her example. Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared. Everybody already whacks her off enough. Now she needs this AI to fucking pump her up, too, man. Jesus. Declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. 
You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system. Jesus, why do they whack her off so hard? Prevail in this. I'm just gonna have like a Thank fucking you. god complex by the end of this shit. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. The west door. Whatever that specifically is. What's this? Gaia? What is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. I think I can reconnect some of them already. And it seems like there are more out there. Okay. There we go. More data for the dome. Ten. To bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first, check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. <laughs> or sure? I could <laughs> tell me all my side quests. So look around right. here some more. I think it'll be better. Oh, what is there to look around here for? There ain't a whole lot going on, is there? What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. I think we must have traveled high up the mountain. since entering the sacred cave it's hard to say can't tell if it's day or night in here either <laughs> okay i need to head further west to um get more of gaia's components make her stronger you two can stay here in the meantime Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Aaron. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. And while you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Just everybody get your for focus. I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back. I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. Jesus. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. 
Four months to the end of the world. In song, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clan lands. <laughs> Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else? Who knows? Okay. Hello? Okay. Things are... Things are breaking. Easy now. Easy. Could have done heavy weapon. I don't care about workbench effort at all. Black box. Tall neck. Could go back and check some of these. Or I'll just do it later. This is apparently a thing. Yeah. I'm, when I see the big, I'm just like, uh, <laughs> like how long, how long is this motherfucker gonna be? You, let me take a look at you, stranger. A rumor. You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the Martians. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. Yeah. I'd be grateful. Well then, I spotted a group of Osram. There's kind of like an order to everything, desert, unless you just want to go crazy. I'd report it, but I don't think they'll last long. If the machines down there don't get them, the storms. Or if it wasn't about RPG oh, progression and more good. about Maybe upgrading damage here and there, but more just horizontally, just giving more options to fight more complex enemies instead of just raw damage. Tools and stuff to handle situations differently, and then you could be more free to go wherever. You. Not as bad as like new Assassin's Creed, it's which are you. fucking like hard lock you almost into having a certain amount of stats to even do anything, but.
feel like I have to obsessively press, press R3 and obsessively check my map for like every little possible thing on the way. But we'll be able to heal on it. Once Sky is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. Instead of just like traveling, taking in the land, finding new areas to go to visually. It's like the Skyrim fucking wheel at the top here. You can't come here yet. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. Somebody watch my pig for me. No. I don't need a chap. Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. What's going on? I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. Going back to the pens. So machines did this? An Easterner with a hair like blood. The Outlander from the Embassy. <laughs> you killed Greta, champion. He was one of ours. Man, parallel park and a giant it's pig. Really, that would be rough. I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd Damn. my people harvest. That's a hell of a pickup line, hearts, man. Send them to our capital. Get paid with water. It's it harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? I'll help you harvest now? those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. The hell am I watching? <laughs> People making some big upgrades to uh, <laughs> Never Seven of all things, dude. <laughs> Interesting. How long will they wait? God. Oh, let's just go. I'll go with you. Okay. Very well. We leave for the Southeast Canyon. May the Ten protect you then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. Guys, going for you a Spock that. impression here. 
Made that turn, bro. This way. Oh, buddy. The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get to walk. Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan was. Jataka has the stones to tell me. The commander has good reason to be strict with our water supply. You think she doesn't? I think she's always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. But do you really think anyone in Scalding Spear is dying of thirst? Or her own squad? No. I bet they dip their hand in the trough whenever they want. Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to scrape by. To fight, tooth and nail to survive. And I'm guessing that someone is you? I've lived in the fringes of the desert my entire life. I've fought for every single mouthful of water I've ever had. I know I'm a better fighter. And I'm prettier. This fucking guy, uh -huh. dude. At least he I keeps sure up, man. Gets all the water they need, no matter what bill it's in. Didn't Jataka say you guys have too little to go around to begin with? I'm sure I'll be able to fix that somehow. It's always a way. Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon. You're, uh, welcome to any supplies you can find. Might need them for the fight ahead. Thanks. I'm already helping myself, guy. There we go. Let's move out. You'd abandon me. So, what's the Nora looking for out in the Forbidden West? Who says I'm looking for something? I doubt you traveled all the way out here just for the scenery. I'm trying to fix something. I see. All right, you can keep your secrets. Guess I should just be thankful you decide my problems are worth fixing too. We're here. Okay, guy. Let's have a word before we head in. Let's have a word. I'll help you harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, we will. That's the canyon we draw machines into. Then we block them in and pick them off. Now, we'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow. Okay, guy. This is above the board, I'm sure. Is he gonna follow?
much fucking balloon, dude. Everything didn't just cover like 20 miles, just constantly dodging back. Kill shit. There's so much fucking bloom and shit, dude. It's really hard to read some of these guys, man. Like everything glows like a fucking crazy neon fucking... something, <laughs> dude. sure has enough resistance, man. Let's 
Let's take it out. Playing on hard, it's just everything just takes forever. If you can harvest the machine hearts, I'd be grateful. That's all the parts we need. I should take these to Draka. First, I have to run around and look for shit now. Both of the cannons are in here. Wonderful. Epic Fox. I got a fucking headache. Too much coffee, man. Gives a man a headache. My stash later. wanted to do something with that, even if it meant just shooting some fucking random sheep. Like what good is stealth in a situation like that where it's just a bunch of guys that take 10 hours to kill it? It's like a bigger first hit. May the wings of the ten carry you home, my brother. I got the hearts. We should head back to Arrowhand. Yeah, at least now we can bag and tag these soldiers. Bag oh, hold and on. tag? Why Since would he say bag and tag? Machines. He's a fucking <sighs> tribal dude, man. I want to go back to where the Thunderjaw hit us. I lost a lot more fighters there. I can't just leave them to rot. They deserve to be bagged and tagged, too. Will you come with me? Is that supposed to be part of the culture they picked up, bagged, and tagged? That's like an actual, like... Something. It's not supposed to just be fucking 